Welcome to the Clive Barker Podcast, in part 16 of our Dungeons & Dragons game, Jericho Squad 77, set in the capital city of Isordorex in the Second Dominion. The members of Squad 77 stand up to the rival squad, take on a dragon god, make a wish, and investigate the mysteriously abandoned Darthur City. And now here's Bendley Widget to fill you in. Bentley here. I don't know why they keep asking me to do these recaps. I'm the guy that always stays home. Maybe today will be different. Last time the squad went to New Midian to solve a riddle from a sphinx, but they had to fight him anyway. They resurrected the Nightbreed god Baphomet, and he told them that Squad 78 had been infiltrated by their enemy Cassius Briar, and the hand of the unbeheld, the right hand of the god Hebexamendios. They learned that the god is in three parts, the hand, the wings, and the heart, and now Squad 78 is on their way to see us, and they need to figure out what to do. Uh, last time, the group met a sphinx in New Midian and resurrected Baphomet, and in the process, uh, Rolf, Ralph, I called you Rolf like in the Muppet Show, uh, Ralph Whoa. lost the giant hand, uh, and the squad learned that members of Squad 78, who will be arriving tomorrow, are not what they seem. Uh, one of them is an aspect of the resurrected god Hepeximendios, and the other is their old enemy Cassius Bryant. And so now it's mid-morning, and you have about uh, you have until tomorrow morning to decide uh, what you're going to do. After the destruction of Midian, after the unraveling of the fugue, after the fall of the unbeheld and the reconciliation of the five dominions. The Jericho organization has expanded and spread itself thin, guarding the breaches and investigating anything that comes through. This Dungeons and Dragons game is the story of one of those teams. Let's begin. yours have we had breakfast yet yes okay are we yeah. <laughs> are we are we downstairs in the in the meeting room or are we in, be, in um, our bedrooms yeah you could i mean if, if you want it you could you can meet at the table if you want but i mean bentley is uh by tonight bentley will be setting up the the transport to, to uh, for them to teleport over. Okay, and we all know at this moment that Cassius Briar is the Erethemac that we saw in yeah. the Boston Bowl, and that uh... yeah, you you saw him in the Boston Bowl, and Brant confirmed it again. I mean, not Brant, but uh, but um, Jonathan Livingston Seagull confirmed mm -hmm. it by spying on them in the Fourth Dominion. Okay. Um... So good morning, Bentley. Hey, yeah, good morning. Hey, so um, so is everybody in the room? Yeah, yeah. I'm everybody's here. everybody's yeah. still in the room. You just finished uh, okay. breakfast. So guys, it looks like we got a decision to make. I mean, this is the kind of stuff we were, you know, Jericho squads were created for. Um, you know, Cassius is back somehow. Uh, Dexter Handy turns out to have been someone who probably found a way to get him from hell. And I guess now we have to make a decision. Do we go to Durther City before Squad 78 gets there? Or do we play along and let the squad teleport into our office knowing that there's going to be at least a 
um, Nolianak and Cassius Bry are under disguise. So what do you guys think? Should we, uh, what should we do? Well, I don't know if uh, Bentley has uh, insurance to take care of his house if we destroy it, the shop if we destroy it again. I was gonna say, yeah, I think Bentley might be tired of cleaning up. I know I am. <sighs> so uh, yeah. Actually, Bustle and Pancake did most of the work last time. They didn't do anything. We all know this. <laughs> Um, stop they, trying to they make them of... make it, try, stop trying to make puzzle and pancake happen it's not gonna happen <laughs> they, they 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 sort of go huh, and they they turn around and close their door and go back into their room okay now that bustle and pancake are gone i say we feed them to the nullion now <laughs> i think i think we might still need them to do you know the grunt work around here uh ralph okay. yeah you right. guys carry a grudge for a long time I, I mean, when you're driving down the road in a bike and these two knuckleheads try to take my head off with a rope in the middle of the road, you know, forgive me for holding a grudge. Uh, yeah, but, I know it's know, only been I, like a month, but it feels like two years ago that happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened, right? So, yeah. But so uh, I guess we'll go to Durther City. I, I was I was gonna suggest that I don't know what you guys are thinking. I mean, uh, you guys know what I know, so uh, you're not gonna we make can't it back let the in hand... time before they get here. If you do that, you might as well wait and yeah. we'll play cool. And uh, okay, we'll, we'll just uh, I think we should go together as friends. Here's they're like my... friends, right? They're look. That's why they're coming here. Well, I mean, we don't know them. You know, well, yeah, we're going to be friends. Yeah, we're, I guess you could say that, but we just threw this guy in hell, and you know how hard it is to find an alien act, so... I mean, he knows who you guys are, though, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't yeah. know that you know who he is. So here's the thing, though. You remember? You guys remember Baphomet told us we can't let the hands, the wings, and the... What was the other thing? Heart. Heart. The hearts get together, right? So we know that Dexter Handy turns out he was the aspect of a Peximenius. And the dragon that you guys met with the van, those are the wings. The heart might be in Durther City, right? So I don't know if we if we go there with them, we're basically letting all three things come together, right? So that's that's a big no no. I think we should avoid letting these uh you know the dragon meet up with you know the hand and find the heart so is i think there... oh sorry no yeah go ahead no i literally just interrupted you i apologize no that's fine i mean all, all the all the ideas are good at the table you're going to say something about what i was saying i don't remember okay <laughs> <laughs> no i was just saying i mean if we wait for them we're just going to be like walking them into the city if assuming they're going to play it cool and pretend like we don't know yeah, you know, assume that we don't know who they are. They might be trying to come to us in disguise so they can make their way undetected uh, to Durther City and meet up with whatever's in there that's keeping the city um, from communicating with the outside world. So that's that's just my thinking. I'm, a, you know, what do you guys think? Sorry, well, okay, wait. So we're we're all going together to Durther City with them, right? That's what we're discussing is like not letting them know that we know. Well, Is that correct? I don't think that's a good idea anymore. Okay, but, yeah, uh, I... but the question, okay, so here's a thought. What if we go with that, but along the way we set up an ambush? Because we have several hours until they get here. If we go along the way and we set up an ambush and we go ahead and make everything, put everything together to make it automatically in our advantage, would that be helpful? I don't know. Hear me out, hear me out. It comes down to this being Cassius in disguise, right? Right. Y'all just banished him to hell. Mm -hmm. Like actual hell. He's been in hell for centuries as far as he's concerned, I'm sure, because you know how time is perceived uh, when you're in torment. He's not coming here to try to, like, trick you guys into heralding him into the city. He's coming here to freaking pay you guys back without you knowing. He's going to show up and unleash all, you know, everything. So yeah. I think it's not a good idea to try to have this idea where we're just going to be like, oh, hey, what's up? Because I think as soon as he shows up, 
his intention is to get payback. And then he's got a million act with him. He is Cassius. Yeah. And he, he can, like, can use that as a basically. And he I can like summon more enemies. Idea because then we're not and he's got a whole the store. <laughs> he's got a whole Jericho squad who is probably like under some sort of spell or at least, you know, defected to be like, you know, under his influence or whatever. So I don't think that he's running this guys where the Jericho squad he's squatted up with right now doesn't know. I think everybody knows. And that's kind of his play there. It's like chess, not checkers, right? Okay, he's coming so here to kill us. It sounds like we're you going guys, to but I'm with you guys. It sounds like we're going to Durther City right now then. How we avoid the dragon. And so, uh, leave him just to run. ambush. So here's my idea about that. So here's my idea. So what I was trying to say at the beginning was yeah, that yeah. we jump we jump the gun and we go to Durther City and we don't let them teleport in because that way they have to make the long way to Isorderex, which means they have they might take a few days to get here. So if we just let them teleport in, we're just saving time for Cassius Breyer to go to Durther City as quickly as possible. So my plan was we take both the van, if we can patch it up a little bit. I don't know if we have anything around the store or whatever that we could patch the van with. But I was thinking if we patch the van and take the bike with a sidecar, we stand a better chance of maybe escaping the dragon. Because remember, the dragon didn't really fly very quickly from what you guys said. You guys got away from him because he couldn't fly to keep up with the van. So the thing is, you guys stopped, and then the dragon had you guys, you know, away from the van for a while. So I think if we take two vehicles, we might be able to split up if the dragon shows up, and then it's not just two people in a van, it's it's all of us. So I think we would have a better chance to, like, you know, uh, either either outrun him or or at least defeat him in a way that would let us get to Durther City. So that's just my idea. All right. Well, sounds good. Sounds good. So when we'll... we get to Darth or City, are we just going to like investigate? I mean, what's the deal here then? What? I mean, that's the thing, right? I mean, what are we gonna do when we get there? We nobody's find the heart, heard of him. We eat it. So nobody's what, heard of him. So you They've said Cassius is is Oskalok, is that right? Yeah. And then who? Which person? Which one of them is Dexter Handy? Um, I think it was. The hand, right? The hands? Uh, yeah, it was it... on the nosy. <laughs> what, wasn't yeah, it the was. Nolianac? You, you, the, the Nolianac? So, the Nolianac is, a, is, is, is Hapexamendios, basically. Probably an aspect of Hapexamendios, right? Yeah, okay. Well, so you're counting on the fact that they're going to have to drive all the way up here. But he's connected to the first dominion right right so does that mean that they could fly here or something uh maybe they can go back and forth in and out of the second out of the first dominion huh i didn't consider that well i always kind of thought it was more like uh he doesn't even realize what he is and maybe cassius is like you're you're important and he's like okay hmm. Maybe he doesn't realize he has this power and he doesn't have this power until they're combined. That's yeah. how I was looking at it. But I don't know if I'm right. Well, he, he was the one that seemed to have uh, gotten it out of us where Cassius was, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... I, I admit the, to that. And yeah, Richard, that was before you were here. Yeah, I, I kind of, you know, said a little too much. Yeah. I regret that. So he does know. Yeah. He does know he is powerful. Right. Um, so the way I see it, I'm sure that the other demon that was in hell that was taking, uh, I don't know what happened, how he escaped hell. I don't know how Cassius escaped it. But if someone was powerful enough to go in there and get him, it was probably that aspect of Apex Mendios. So, so, so something that... I understand. That, uh... Jonathan I understand really what you're saying, uh, because that means that somehow the aspect of Apex Mendios found a way of crossing the pathway to hell so he could cross the pathway into another dominion. Is that what you're saying? So something to remember that uh, Jonathan relayed and you weren't here, uh, but he, he was the thing that he was thinking about when Jonathan was reading his thoughts was that his skin was itchy and he can't wait until his new skin grows in. 
and he <laughs> had uh, around his hairline there was blood. So it was kind of uh, Uncle Frank type of a situation. And but but so I, I, I don't know that information. You do know that. Okay, I yeah, do know Jonathan that. told everybody. Right. Yeah, but what, wasn't there a discussion about maybe just like jumping on them when they showed up and then pulling the skin off and being like, ah! ah. Okay, well, I mean, that's something we could do, but then I'm sure it's going to start a combat right away and also we don't know if the squad is under his spell the rest of squad 78 or if they would actually you know that's a that's an interesting thing because i don't know if we expose them it would squad 78 be under his spell and fight us because we attacked him or would they join us in fighting uh yeah that's an interesting question i mean i don't know I but mean the, the you thing really is, don't it's, have very it's many other memory. ideas. Although yeah. it does put the shop in danger. I don't know yeah. if we're worried about that or not. And it's a big gamble Bye. because we <laughs> might be a, have to fight a whole squad or not. So there's always that risk. You you hear a, a bell uh, tinkling because the, one of the, the door opens upstairs and uh -huh. uh, Bustle and Pancake run up and they said, that's supposed to be locked. And they, they run up there to see who's who's at the door. All right, let's go up there too, I guess. Well, you don't all have to follow. I'll stay where I'm at. I'm not okay. following them. Well, I put a spell on the door, so I put a spell where only a few people can come into the, the door, right? Well, then who all could come into the door? Yeah, you did. Did you do the spell right? Um, let me Maybe go upstairs. Maybe they have and... a counter spell. Let me go upstairs. I saw him but... put it on there. I'm pretty sure it's good. Well, and, uh... You, you see Bustle and Pancake explaining to someone that the, the store is closed for today, and they yeah. send them back out. Okay, well, that shouldn't have happened, right? I mean, when you say the bell rang, was it someone rang the bell from outside, or the door no, opened like and the, the bell No, like the little tinkling rang? bell that's hanging on the door when you Okay, then that's a concern, because I put a spell on it. Yeah. That someone's not supposed to come in there unless they they yeah. they're allowed to right so i go upstairs and i check the door do i have sense magic or something yeah how do uh, i, I uh, well, check to see yeah. if this spell is working um uh, yeah make an arcana arcana check. check yeah all right let's go ahead and do that so i've rolled 13 plus 6 19. Hey. yeah yeah that, that's pretty good um so it looks like the spell was a spectacular failure when you cast it and you didn't realize it at the time. You thought it, you what? Thought it was a success. Yeah. Way to go. Oh, shut it yeah. here. All right. Um, uh, Ralph, are you speaking from downstairs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can hear y'all. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, okay, guys, I, I got to do something here at the door because it looks like this, this, this spell I put on the door isn't working, so I have to put it again. So what do I have to do now to, it, to it'll redo take this you, spell? It'll take you about an hour uh, of, oh, wow. uh, to, to rework it, yeah. Okay. So, guys, I'm going to have to, you know, say, make the door safe again. Sorry about that. It looks like the spell didn't take. Uh, hey, it's my first time doing the spell. You know, bear with me. I'm going to have to redo this. It might take me an hour. So I start doing the spell on the door. Okay. Yeah, and make, make another arcana check to, to, to do the spell. And hopefully you won't get a natural one like last time. I got 16. All right. Yeah. And, plus uh, six. and it works. And uh, and you're able to, to kind of verify that it worked. Oh, and so God. only people okay. who live in the, at the at the building can come in and out. Everybody All right. Else for had, everybody you else. The door for them. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that's safe. Okay. Well, that's, that's one thing off the list that uh, I'm glad we caught. Because yeah. if we if we leave the store, we wouldn't be leaving it secure. So uh, sorry about that, guys. So did you were you guys upstairs talking about your plan during that hour, or did you just everybody just kind of wait for you to finish? I stayed downstairs, and uh, I took a nap. Okay, I left <laughs> right, my well, plate clean. All right, so that that uh, that hour is up. So um, yeah, you can resume uh, where you left off. So, Durther City, 
Here we come. Lead the way. Let's do it. Okay. Well, wait, wait. If you're if you're doing that, uh, what do I tell them? Because you're not gonna make it back in time. Tell them we went to Dirt There's a City for gambling and hookers. No, just pretend like you're not getting the the transmission. You're like, what? I can't hear you. That's not. It's not how coming it works. through very clear. Yeah, no, I'm supposed to call them. I have to call them and tell them that we're not setting up the transport for them. Tell them we um, died. Some tell stuff it. came up. We went to visit Grandma. Tell them that weird bird that hangs out here took one of the pieces of our portal and left with it, and we can't make it work. So we're looking on that. Yeah. Okay. That one's the best one for sure. Tell them I'm in labor. We all went to the hospital. <laughs> or we had you to pick up a cake from eggs. Walmart. Aren't you a reptile? You lay eggs, Ralph. They don't know that. <laughs> hey, you're losing me. I don't know which one of those I'm supposed to say. Pick one. I, I liked the bird one. The uh, True de Vere's, was it, right? Yeah. Okay. The bird stole the stone. Don't tell them Jonathan took one of our tiles. Do I say, why did he do that? Because he didn't want them to come? No, uh, you just say, I don't he, know, he's, he's crazy. He's a bird. He's a bird. He's, he's part crow. He collects things. He and... keeps stealing shiny objects. Yeah. Literally any of those reasons, I think, are good. Oh, he's a it's, bird. We don't know. He left. Trait. We don't know why he took it. He's gone. Well, okay. Or you elaborate on your lie, the more fake it is. Exactly. Sound. He's <laughs> the thief. Just tell That's him what that. I'm I don't know. <laughs> let you know when we find him. <laughs> All right. Well, or you right. could just or, or you could come with us. call him and not set up the thing. Exactly. Just leave just him. Leave him oh. on mute. Yeah, or you could come with us, Bentley. I mean, nobody can get into the store magically, so the, the store would be safe. Yeah. I just re I just redid the the spell, so okay. You know, I mean, you yeah, you'll yeah. be safe inside, or you can come with us. All Dirty. right. So 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 that's our plan, and then uh, tomorrow morning I'll just call uh, which one of them, I guess, Dexter or or uh, or Cassius, who is Oskalok, and. Uh, uh, Whoever's the right leader before of the they're supposed to come over, I, or no, I, or I don't call them, right? And then they just I try would call to Dexter. transport and it doesn't work. Yeah, just let them contact you and ask you what's wrong. Send okay. them the slowest form of communication. Yeah. yeah. We have like a carrier pigeon. I'm sure Cassius will, will be suspicious, so, um, you know, yeah. I wouldn't communicate with him too much. Hmm. So, when, so then when, so where are we going? Now. Uh, when, it, yeah, I mean, we should we should yeah. go as quickly as possible, right? So well, we can get. I mean, uh, we sh did we pack? Head start. Pack. Do we? Yeah. Need so pack? what do we need and, to pack? And, um, to pack. Just right, remembering let's, let's what pack. what it was last time. Uh, it took all day to get to the halfway point, which was like okay. a um, like there's a little cabin, you know, in the middle of the road. Uh, that's kind okay. of like the halfway point between Isordorex and Darthur City. Okay, uh, and I'm assuming that if they take the long way to get to Zordorex, it would yeah. it would take a few days for them to get to Zordorex. Uh, I think it's I'm gonna say it's it's eight hours to the halfway point, and then probably another eight hours to Darthur City. No, I was I was asking about Squad Seventy Eight. If they can teleport in, and they have to come in, you know, the with a car, how long would it mm -hmm. take them to get to Zordorex? Oh, probably like a week. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. I'm sure the Cassius's are the ways of traveling, though. So we'll see about that. They managed okay. to get him out of hell. Yeah, they they did. All right. So I guess can we can we uh, who wants to take the van and who wants to take the the motorcycle with the sidecar? I got a motorcycle. I'll ride All right, in the sidecar. All right. Can you so... fit in the sidecar? Yeah, I don't get that I know, hand right? anymore. He doesn't have the hand anymore, right? Yeah. yeah. Jonathan says, I don't know if I want to be blamed for the, for for this. Uh, uh, no one can catch you. You can fly, Jonathan. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're our air support. But uh, do you think it's a good idea to come with us if there's going to be a flying dragon? Uh, yeah, I'll come along. All right, cool. cool. All right. I mean, he can go inside the van. He doesn't have to That's fly. true. Yeah, and he can do illusions and stuff. So that's that's a good that's a good idea. All right, guys. So I'm gonna fix my backpack, and uh, I guess we'll 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 get in the cars. Is there a way that we can fix 
the the rooftop of the van. Uh, do you have any sort of materials around here, Bentley? What about magic? Or magic? Oh yeah. Uh, you, so you there you have uh, some of you. I think maybe only maybe only um, Zoe had. There's a spell called mending, hmm. but it's just um... a cantrip, and so it you know it's like it takes you six seconds just to fix like a a a, a, a tear in clothes. So mm -hmm. it would take hours to use mending to fix like the roof of the oh. car. Yeah. Does it render it inoperable while it's being mended? No. I mean, really, the, back, the, the roof, the roof, the roof and the the hood were torn off, but it's still you can still use the car. But Dexter, uh, 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 Bentley doesn't uh, have any materials. Oh, you're saying that she could do it on the road while you're driving? Yeah. Oh. It says but it takes we a have... minute. If it's 16 yeah. hours away, do we have enough but fuel? It, it takes a minute to do something really s small. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why it would take hours to, to get the whole thing done. Okay. okay. I think what Matt is asking is if she could be doing that while we're driving the van. Yeah, it, it, I think that would be, you know, if, if she's if she's <laughs> somewhere where she can touch it, you know. then. Cause, yeah, because the dragon is halfway point, so there would be at least eight hours that she could be, like, mending the yeah. van. Touching everything. <laughs> what, what do you think, Zoe? Could you do that? All I got to do is touch it. So, All right. Yeah, so so <laughs> do, cool. doing the, fixing the hood would be a different story because it would be hard to, to reach. We'll but just break roof, out the she, windshield. She, could she can hang out do the, front. Do the roof. Okay. Come back, fix the windshield. <laughs> hey, you know, that that sounds great. How about we do that? Okay. All right. Do we have enough fuel? Oh, yeah, let's check the gauge. What does the gauge say? I, mean, it's the I can't fix the drive. fuel. I can't read. Um, so, uh, Bentley, say, Bentley uh, says, I, I filled it up after you guys got back. Do we yeah. have enough to make it there? Do we have enough to make it back? Uh, yeah. What kind, you, what kind of mileage do we get on this? <laughs> you, yeah, you, you'll need to put some gas cans in the in the back of the truck. There. All right, let's put the gas cans in the back of the truck. Yeah. All right. So we won't be have we won't have to worry about gas to get there and gas to come back, right? Yeah. Does it run on gas or diesel? Runs <laughs> on uh, vegetable oil. Oh, let, let me pull out the. Is it miles the away or kilometers? It, let, it's a, let me it's pull a pickup the truck chain. that has the back where the rear end was taken off, and it's just a big flatbed on the back. Too many variables. With, with like kind of like a little fence around the, the flatbed. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Driving in style. Did we check the tire pressure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotta do the pressure. All right, guys. Let, let's pack our shit and let's get in the van. <laughs> I just don't want to roll right. like 10 miles down the road and it breaks down. All right. Uh, who knows how to drive? Bentley, do you drive? You can drive the van, right? Yeah, and, I, I can drive if you want. Okay, Catalina drives the 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 bike because she's good at it. You're good. Okay. All right. I've got all my stuff. All right. I'm I'm walking into the back of the van, looking up at the big hole, and be like, "Holy shit! You guys really so, got uh, ripped to shreds." So it's about uh, noon right now as you're leaving. Can we okay. wrap like a Tupperware of food to eat on the way? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I need a knapsack. Yeah. You we got some victuals and uh, imbibements. So while you guys are packing, he'll have uh, he'll have um, bustle and pancake work on that. Yeah, do you have like pancakes. some something we could bring to eat on the road? I yeah. uh, am going to prepare my own food. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah, shoot a shoot a sideways glare at Bustle and Pancake. Like a giant bag of jerky or bananas, or some fried zarzi in a bag. That'd be good. <laughs> oh god. Gumbo. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but those are flies. I know. Those are bugs. Yeah. Big bugs. I'll take Could that. Could be good fried. All right, yeah, I'll that, show that, my. That, that actually, they, they're huge, right? So they probably would be pretty good. Like, with, yeah, they're, they're like... baby zarzi. They're baby yeah. zarzi. It's like <laughs> that episode of Futurama where they find like these. Uh, shrimp poppers that turn out to be like babies uh, <laughs> okay so make your way uh from Isor Direx uh, and get on the uh, on the Lenten way uh down headed down the road towards Darthur City yeah and the road is is pretty desolate the the, the farther you drive uh the more it's really strange that you don't see any traffic coming in and out of this road um 
it's it's uh, not much is going on, and by about 8 p.m., you start getting to the uh, you start seeing a cabin up ahead. Uh, what do you want to do? He says, "Hey, do you want to stop here for the night, or do you want to just keep going?" I, I look at uh, Matt and Musette and ask them, "Did you guys remember this place?" Yeah, yeah, this is kind of where we got attacked. So, I mean, I'm not really trying to stay here, to be honest. I mean, look at my arm. It's pretty tore up, too. Yeah, I'm I, I, I say we here. keep going, man. This looks like this is going to be the, the place. If we stop, we might get attacked again. The time is of the essence, right? So it'll be like 4 a.m. when you get to Darthur City. Perfect. All right. We can kind of like some sneak snacks. up to the edge okay. of the town. So, okay, so, and uh, has Zoe been mending the, the roof this whole time? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, the, the, it's, pr it's almost finished. Um, nice. It, yeah. And, and who's, so let's see, there are two, three, what, there's more people than can sit in the, in the cab of the truck, right? Yeah. Bentley's driving. So okay. who's sitting in the front and who's who's sitting in the cab and who's sitting in the back? We'll say you can have, you can have two people or four people in the cab and then everybody else has to be in the back. And obviously, Bentley is driving and Zoe's got to be inside so she can mend. Yeah, I think uh, Zoe should be up front with the uh, with the uh, with Bentley touching the, okay. the 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 dash and stuff. And, and, and you who's know. behind the seats in the? In I, the I guess I I can sit there. I okay. I can like I can like put myself in a, 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 a yoga position and meditate through the trip. Okay. I'm riding in the bed of the truck because, you know, okay. I smoke. Okay. And and uh, who else is in the... So you could fit one more person in the cab and then somebody else has to be in the bed. So who else is left? Uh, I mean, Musette is... and, and uh, Ralph. They're on the, the bike, right? They're yeah. on the bike and the sidecar. Oh, that's right, the bike. I forgot yeah. about the bike. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Musette and Ralph are on that one together? Yep. Okay. All right. No, I think that's... Uh, so you don't have to sit outside in the bed then. He's smoking. Uh, that's why he sat outside. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm just taking yeah. in the, you know, the second. Actually, yeah. Musette and Ralph make a perception check. And um, everybody except for... Except for... Um, Oh God! Everybody except for Chertovir, because you're in the in the back behind the seat, so you can't really yeah. see. Kind of meditating, it's coming out of yeah. it now. I think it's perception. Sad. Yeah. And I'll have uh, Bentley do this. So. Okay, I got a fifteen total. Thirteen. Oh, Bentley got like... a fifteen. Well, Zoe got a twenty-one. Yes. Oh wow! All right. Well, well, Rolled so, an 18. What do you, oh, do you everybody that no. got above, above a 12. Uh, you see, uh, and, and uh, Musette and and um, and Richard have seen this before. You see the, the dragon starting to come towards you from the direction of Durther City. It's coming sort of at an intercept course, aiming itself, you know, flying downwards towards the truck and the motorcycle. He's just camping this uh this little hut, isn't he? <laughs> well, I mean, I think everybody's above a thirteen, so everybody except for Chertevere sees it, so like holy cow. This is what we were talking about. You see that thing in the sky right now? Holy crap, book it, let's go. And I'm like i I'm coming out of my yoga and I'm like, what what's going on? <laughs> Did you see the monster? You know, you've got some a little time to prepare because it's like uh, probably about 300 feet away. So you've got one round to prepare, and then then it's going to be kind of on you because you're okay. coming at each other. So it's 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 going to come pretty fast. Okay. So this one, this one says that uh, how can I prepare this incendiary cloud scroll? What do I do for that? Well, you you can just you can just uh, hold the action right until it's within range. What's the range? Is that what it's I'm 150 yeah. feet. So is this scroll something I could just grab and use and attack the dragon with it, and then I just lose it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it. then I do that. I have to do a... What do I have to do? Nothing? Just just say that I use the scroll? 
Yeah, well, you just say you're you're uh, holding your action until it's within range, and as soon okay. as it's within range, that you're gonna that's gonna you're gonna set it off. You did hear that I cast mage armor, right? Uh, well, you and that lasts for eight hours, so you could have done that at any point you know, on the sure. road on the way up. Okay, okay. Well, that, yeah, that's that makes fine. sense. You, you can have that too. Okay, so I'm holding until he's in range. And this is like in the outskirts of the city? Uh, you're halfway there. Oh, okay, halfway still. Yeah, so you've got another eight hours of driving before you get there. This would oh, be a I... normal place where you would have to stop to fill up the tank again. I thought the the cabin was on the halfway point. The, yeah, you're you're coming up on the cabin. Oh, okay, I see. Do we see any empty vehicles along the road? Not yet. Okay. No. I guess the dragon doesn't have his driver's license yet. <laughs> I was mostly thinking about whether he attacked cars and drove them off the road. I don't think he'd fit inside to drive this. <laughs> okay. The dragon just wants to be a real boy. <laughs> he, he could drive Mr. Bean's car, the ones that has the steering wheel on top of the car. <laughs> hey, now, I have a mini. <laughs> just transmorgify him into a little bunny, and then mm. I'll shoot him. And he'll be dead. I don't think we have transmogrification spells. I, I don't have that. I'm, I'm waiting on a, a spell that I think will help us out by deflecting. I, I have an enlarge reduce spell. I don't know if this would affect like his attack on us with whatever he attacks us with. Would um, it say it would have him in size? Have, yeah. Right? Yeah, and then I mean, he has disadvantage. He's enormous. On... Yeah. But I mean, that would... Do I, I stop the so. car or do you want to just keep driving while we're fighting? I would keep going. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Because gonna... yeah. they got That's away from it in the van, so it, it's not like he can actually follow us if we speed away from it. Harder to hit a moving target anyway. Unless That's true. He's he's barreling down at us while we're approaching it, so it's like two trains coming together. If he if he comes down and like smashes is he, is our he coming truck, from he the front? Permanently. Yeah, he's coming from the direction of Darthur City. Of Darthur City. Oh, that might shoot. be where no. you heard the words Darthur City before. So if we try to swerve, if he like tries to touch down and get us and we try to swerve i mean we could hit a pothole disable the vehicle then we're stuck so yeah. we should i just this. i do see the road it seems very narrow but this is supposed to be like the lenten way right multiple lane kind of road it doesn't really go anywhere i mean Durther city used to just be an encampment uh -huh. and you know only within the last decade it's been oh so this town. is a, a smaller road that only leads to Durther City. Okay. Yeah. So we're not in the actual like whatever road. Yeah, it's oh a, yeah. Yeah, it's it's it Linton Way didn't used to go all the way to, to Right. That uh, ends at Azorex, right? And then yeah. there's another road that goes Okay, got it. Yeah. So this might be a smaller road. Is there something we could go off road? Is it like a desert? Is it like a plain? It is like a desert. I mean, the the it's rocky and bumpy, and there are there are dead trees and cacti and stuff I like that. I think we could try, you know, Swerving away from it, like Matt was saying. Hmm. I think Matt was saying it's a bad idea because we could yeah. go in a pothole. Ah, yeah. yeah, okay. We could disable the vehicle if we accidentally go off road or try mm. to turn too sharp. This looks like an older vehicle. I don't know how it corners. The road is not just the size of our van, right? There's some room to maneuver. And just as the car was almost bit, fixed. Yeah. What I was thinking about was my spell, Spirit Guardians, because that gives us a 15 foot radius and that's what they see in front of us so they might he might you know either go into these things that don't exist or you know around them so that you know might decrease his speed and trajectory so that's what hey, i was thinking focus yeah on. yeah or, or we could ask jonathan also to create an illusion of another van so do or, i stop or, the car or are we gonna keep driving uh, I would say let's keep driving because, you know, if we stop the car, he then we're sitting ducks, right? Yeah. I mean, well, if at some point, the vehicle, we have to stop the car to get gas. We're almost out already. Yeah, but we're not filling the gas tank while a <laughs> dragon is swooping down on us. Priorities. <laughs> right? Okay. We'll just, we could just keep driving until we run out of gas, I guess. Yeah, we got two vehicles. We could try splitting up a little bit, uh, maybe go off-road. Uh, be careful not to hit a pothole. 
All right, yeah, that'll be between him and and uh, Bentley. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you're prepare. You're still preparing this cloud spell, right? Well, it's a scroll. Scroll. Yeah, it's still a spell. Oh, so he's gonna hold on to it, right, until the. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so we're in the so we're in the um, motorcycle with the cart. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna when we get closer cast bardic inspiration on him, and Ralph, do you think we should swerve? It would give our friends a better chance. Um, I don't. I don't. I can't even tell what they're doing. You're driving. You can tell that they're not stopping. That they're planning on keep, okay. to keep going, just okay. by the way he's driving. I mean, how fast are we going? Probably, you know, probably like 40. I mean, it's a bumpy dirt road, so you wouldn't go, you wouldn't be going like 80 miles an hour, but. Mm -mm. So we only have a few moments before we, because it's a football field away. It's not very far. It's like. Yeah, you you've got, right you've got there. one round to, to, uh, to, to, pre to do something or prepare an action. What does Bentley do just naturally? Does he like start to like waver and start to pull over? Or does he start stomping on the gas? Well, everybody, yeah, everybody's like told him to, to keep to keep driving, so he's gonna keep driving. So he just steps on it a little bit and starts picking up speed. Uh, he well, he's um, no, he hasn't started swerving yet. Uh, as Richard, I just kind of like mm -hmm. hover back up against yeah, the back looking, of the cab the and spread my arms yeah, and legs out, and just kind of hold myself into place. place. Look, see what this okay, is. Is, Zoe, what are you doing? Does everybody want me to do the spirit guardians to try to confuse it a little bit so it, you know, is seeing more targets than is yeah. there? Mm -hmm. It'll be, okay. you know, around us, fifteen feet moving around, so it'll look like there's more of us than there are. Oh. Yeah, okay. it says when you cast this spell, you can designate any number of creatures you can see to be unaffected by it, which means you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, an affected creature's speed is halved in the area, and when the creature enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it must make a wis wisdom saving throw. Uh, yeah. On a fail on a failed save, creature takes three d eight radiant damage. If you're good, so that would that, that would be me. Uh, yeah. On a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm, no, that's, that's what a, I'm thinking about a, doing. Is trying to. Yeah, that's a great. That's trying a great to confuse idea. it. Yep. Um, okay. So, am I am I casting that now or? Uh, you're well. Are we close enough yet? It, it stays on you. It's a concentration spell, so you can do it now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Real fast well. though. Sorry. Uh, um, I got to trade seats with uh, with Ralph. Ralph, you're learning how to ride, how to drive the bike today. Shit, okay. yeah. Okay, you're, you're... we're gonna flip really quickly because uh, all my good spells, I have to use my uh, my liar. So oh, yeah. Okay. Are, are you, you guys doing just... this Fast and Furious style, like you're jumping while you're driving? Do you Driver, want to say feet. that you that Ralph was driving or that you were driving the whole time? No, it's more exciting this way. All right. Okay. okay. We're gonna flip. Like Ralph gets behind. Uh, Musette sticks his arms underneath her arms, grabs the wheel, and then she goes into the sidecar like that. Both yeah. of you sure. make both of you make a dexterity check. It's like gone in sixty seconds. Yeah, that that might be what happens. That was a bad movie, with Nicolas Cage. Or Legolas awesome in that. Uh, 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 Fifteen. Okay. And, and you have uh, to do your dexterity. Nineteen. 21 okay yeah you you were it wobbles a little bit uh when musette's getting off of the bike but you managed to pull it off uh so you you uh sort of deftly switch places without uh tipping that was the smart bike over yeah <laughs> family <laughs> oh god okay and also i've got to cast bardic inspiration on ralph okay um yep. He gets a, he gains an inspiration die of a 1d8. Okay. Uh, it lasts for 10 minutes and he can add it to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Yeah. There you go. All right. So yeah, Great. you can use it whenever you need it. And, uh, and Ralph, what are you doing with your preparation time or your, uh, your, your round before the, the, before it gets there? What am I doing? Yeah. Eating the bugs off of your face. Ah. Uh... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I've been trying to figure out this whole time. Uh, will I be able to cast infestation onto this thing? I don't 
think so. I think uh, when you what's get the, closer what's the to range it, but that was infestation. like... Yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't really do anything until I get closer. Right, what's right. The, That's why like, so he's going to cast her stuff when she gets closer. Yeah. But he's driving too, right? Now he is, yeah. Yeah, I got some stuff I could do one-handed. Okay. What's, what's sure. the range on infestation? It's 30 feet, but my Eldritch Blast is 120. Yeah. Okay, so... And my Hideous are... Laughter is 30. So which one are you going to do? Uh, honestly, I'm gonna. I want to hit him with infestation. Okay, so when it gets within thirty feet, you're gonna do infestation. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so everybody, roll for initiative, and you guys are, and then that'll kind of determine the order that you guys do this stuff in. Plus four, eighteen. Oh. I lied. I got an eighteen. Jesus, oh, I got five. I got five. Plus three. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I, I want to. I'm gonna do uh, hideous. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do hideous laughter. DM. Oh, okay. What's the range on that yeah. one? Thirty feet. Okay. I'm a bad okay. wizard. <laughs> Me too. I'm not a wizard. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, Bentley got a ten. Which one? But his action is gonna be to try to dodge the, try to dodge the. Uh, okay, Ralph. Uh, Ralph rolled a nineteen. 13 for Jonathan. Actually, uh, Richard got a 22. Oh, like. nice! Yeah, so Richard, you're, uh, you, so you're, for your first round, you were just bracing yourself? Oh, I was just acting that part out. In my first uh, round, I'm gonna, like, turn around and I guess brace myself and pull my weapon. I'm standing on the back of the truck. Okay. Yeah, that, I was asking what everybody was preparing for the, for the first round when it gets within range. But yeah, you just yeah. said you're well, bracing yourself. Bracing myself, yes. Oh, okay, when it gets in range. But I'm standing up, not sitting down. Okay, and pulling your weapon in. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's I'm what you do. It. And then, uh, Ralph, you're doing um, the hideous laughter? Yes. Whilst I'm piloting a motorcycle bike thing. Yo, oh, are those... those are the spirit guardi guardians, those little, oh. those little starfish guys? That's, That's funny. Cool. So Richard um, stood up and and pulled his weapon out. And Richard, you could, if you wanted to take a shot at it, you could, you know, for your you get you guys get one round before it uh, before it arrives. Yeah. Then I just start spraying my automatic pistol. Okay. Rolled hit. Matt just started blasting. Twenty two. Okay. Uh, yeah, that hits. Roll your damage. Twelve. Okay, and you're gonna. You think you get one more shot, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Twelve. Yeah. Okay, that misses. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, and uh, so then next up is Bentley. Or no, next up is Musette. Okay, sorry. So what are we agreeing on? Is the range that we're well, and actually we're doing? for you, you were uh, doing, you were doing uh, inspiration on on. Uh, Ralph and switching seats on the motorcycle. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so then Jonathan, somebody had mentioned that he should do some kind of illusion. Well, I did suggest that he could create a, a different kind of target, but aren't, didn't Zoe already do that or something? No, Zoe, Zoe did spirit guardians. It's kind of a defensive stuff. Yeah, I guess, you know, Jonathan could, I, I could ask him, hey, can you, can you make us, can you create a copy of us that, uh, so the dragon won't know which one to, uh, to attack? Okay, yeah, so he, he makes a, uh, yeah, so he does a, he, he's doing another version of the truck that's driving off the road next to us. So I'm going no larger than a 20 foot cube. I guess that would be, yeah, that would be right. Right. It's slight, it's slightly smaller than the truck, but there and next up is Bentley so he's gonna try to swerve out of the way and we'll do a uh, um, dexterity check for that I believe in you Bentley so that's uh, 14 all right so so Bentley swerves the truck off the road to sort of get it out of the way uh, he he hits a pothole and the truck fishtails a little bit 
but it's but uh, we didn't it didn't flip over or anything. So uh, so Matt, make a uh, make a dexterity saving throw to stay in the bed of the truck. Jesus. Oh yeah. That pothole warning was a self fulfilling prophecy, Matt. <laughs> Well, I'm in the back of the truck. I didn't want to get involved. You've been seeing all the potholes that we've been missing. In the road. <laughs> like, There's a lot of potholes. Pothole that we've been conscious missing. for sure. <laughs> I rolled a twenty. Nice. Oh, total twenty. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you're you you're bracing yourself really helped. So you were able to to stay up and and uh, you still you so you're still good. You're I highway surfing. The top of the, I just slapped the top of the truck, and I'm like, "Woo!" Yeah. That's my boy. All right. Highway surfing. All right, and Shirtover, you <laughs> had a, a turn. Um, you were casting this cloud on it. Yeah. The so are you like cloud? leaning your head out the window so you can see the target? Sure. Why not? Yeah. What, I'll what, be what like... is it? Is it? What, which Ace cloud Ventura. spell is this again? Uh, incendiary. Uh, it says here, incendiary cloud. And, and you and you put it. You're doing it when it's within 150 feet. So is this kind of up in the air and above where you guys are? Yeah. So I'll, I'll hang out of the the van and I'm like trying to okay to cast the scroll. Okay. They're so I'm just trying to read. Oh, it's a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. DC is 18. 18. Okay. You got a nine. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Now you actually do roll the damage. So uh, roll a d8 ten times. A, a d8 ten times. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah. That's a lot. So it looks like I got forty nine. Forty nine. Yeah. Wow. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah. So it goes through this this uh, flaming cloud, and it's looking a little uh, a little charred. They go like, yeah, take that. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap, that came in handy. All right. And Zoe, your spell was already up. Your um and and it's uh when it's entering into the the, the radius of your spirit guardians, go ahead uh-huh. and roll the damage on that. Okay. Well, 30. 50. There you go. You. Okay, you got a 26. So he takes uh, half damage, right? Uh 26. Yes. Yes. Okay. Half as much okay. Damage. I'm liking that. So he's got 64 damage from the two attacks? Yeah. Nice. Oh, and plus he got shot by by Richard. All right. How much was that damage? 12 or something like that? Yeah, I think 12. 12. Okay, and now it's the top of the yeah, next round, and, and uh, Richard, you're up. So this is the round when it's actually kind of going to go after the car. Oh. All right, so... He just got exploded on a couple times, and I shot him, and yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm still in the back of the truck, and I just start shooting at it again. Okay, uh, roll to hit. 23. That hits. Roll your damage. And Ralph, you'll be up next after. 12 damage again. Shot. Hit a uh, shot an 18. Uh, 18 hits. So roll damage again. Seven. Seven. Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, next up is Ralph. Ralph. Uh, I'm hitting him with infestation. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. Hideous laughter. Hideous laughter. Okay, what's the saving throw on that? Okay. Wisdom, right? Attack save, wisdom, 14. 30. Uh, I guess nothing happens. Uh, no, I want to hit him with my Eldritch Blast. Hit? Yeah, roll to hit. And your Eldritch Blast is... is- that's two blasts, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's two beams now. Okay. There's a lot it, more than. Did, it. did you want to use your? Uh, you've got your inspiration too from from use that. So do you yeah. want to use that for for one of those two? Attack yes. Rolls? You can decide. You know, if one of those is low, you can decide to add it to that. Okay. You don't have to decide which one right now. Okay. Okay. Rolling. <laughs> yep. Uh, roll to 19. Well, 19 hit. I mean, even a 19 by itself would hit. Okay, cool. Okay, roll the damage. Uh, nine. And the other well, one. You have to roll the hit for each one of those. Well, then I got a nine. Still misses, right? Rolling my d8. I rolled an eight. 
Six. Okay, so that's 20. Yeah, so you hit. So roll your damage for the second one. Nine damage. So he's up to 85 points of damage. And Musette is next. I I want to uh, cast Cloud of Daggers at uh, oh. uh, third level. Okay, so right now, just to... Everyone close enough? The main thing is that you're driving towards it, so just keep in mind if you do put a Cloud of Daggers out in front of the truck, that it'll kind of grind everybody up as they're driving through it. Oh, yeah. And the truck. It's, it brings a cloud of spinning daggers in a cube five feet on each side, centered on a point that you choose within range. Yeah, so it's I mean, kind like, of stationary. But if I do it a little bit further back in his body, and uh, yeah, and if, and if it's up high enough, right? That's what I was thinking. I was thinking it'd be higher. Yeah. I mean, I'm it's not going to put it like at face level for us, head level. Yeah, for us. yeah. It's it's that's that's fine. It's just tricky because he's he's now getting within range of you know he's getting really close but I yeah mean, you should be able to you should be able to do that so it hits him but you can still drive under it it's i, only I don't feet. get my i don't mind getting showered in blood if we get rid of him <laughs> okay that although just good. generally i don't mind getting showered as long okay. as it's not um, my blood yeah and and there's no saving throw for that spell so just roll the damage because he's going right through it okay so i'm gonna hit that spell slot um, what, what level, what spell slot level are you using? Because it says third. here, when you, when you I cast I want to use it at third. Yeah, when you okay. cast this spell using a spell slot of third level or higher, the damage increases by 2d4 for each yeah. slot level above second. Yeah. So I got to roll the damage for the 6d4, oh, plus the 2d4, so 8d4 total. Got it. Yeah, the little the little pyramid shape. Pyramid, guys. yeah. What did you say, 8d4? Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, so 20 total then. Okay. 20 damage as it, it uh, goes through the little cube of spinning daggers. Wow. Uh, Jonathan is up next, and he's going to try to cast a uh, charm monster. He would. He would, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, he has to make a wisdom saving throw. He's probably having his beak watering right now, thinking about how much he's going to eat of that carcass. <laughs> got a 16 i have to see what uh, sick bird he passed just barely okay so he did not get uh, he did not fall for for jonathan's charms uh so bentley is next he's uh, he's still driving and then it's the dragon's turn so let's see he's gonna make an intelligence check to figure out which one is the uh, is the right car. Seventeen, yeah, he did. He figured out that the which car was the right car, so he's going after it. He's going to make a breath weapon attack against the whole the the whole car and the motorcycle, because it's anyone that's within a 120 foot line and 15 foot wide. So you see it, it going, and, and it looks like it's throwing up this uh, this huge gout of of uh, spewing like writhing worms are coming yeah. at you. So everybody, make a Constitution saving throw. Woo! Oh man! I, right I got worms. <laughs> I got 21. 18. Okay. Ralph got 20. But he wants worms. <laughs> hey, Ralph's so, got his mouth open like, ah. Did I still get him or no? <laughs> I got 13. Can I give him my worms? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, anybody that got below a 22 failed. Oh, uh, I failed. got a 21. I got Hell a 10. Yeah. Oh, man. Free lunch. I got worms. Yeah. Oh. So 18 gets worms, right? Yeah. Yeah. 18 also gets worms. I've never been that, so excited. Who's that? I was imagining on. I was imagining you giving your worms to Ralph by like you know the Waffle House chair, you gri <laughs> the worms are coming your way, you kind of grab the worms and stick yeah. them in his mouth. So, and actually if you can add 5 to your roll if you're inside of the truck. I still so, only got 11. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. I got 23 then. Because I'm inside the truck. I wasn't like yeah. hanging off the truck the whole time. I already hit him with my blast. So 
once that happened, I, I pulled myself back inside the truck. And Bentley got a 23. You take half damage if you passed. Okay, so it's 61 damage to everybody that uh, to oh everybody God. that was within range. No. Or to everybody that took full, and then, and then, so that's 30 damage if you took half. Okay, so... Damn. I'm passed out or whatever. Okay. And you're driving? No, no I'm driving. Ralph he, is driving now. Ralph driving. is driving, okay. Aren't How you much glad I have that say? mass heal spell now? 61. <laughs> I was making yeah, a... sixty-one damage to everybody. And, and if you're inside of the truck, you can add five to your save because you know the the oh, wait, worms no, had to get her in through in the windows yeah. and stuff. Uh -huh. yeah. it's supposed to be Ralph eating the worms into his mouth. Though I well, take it's... damage. Yeah. So the 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 worms kind of uh, they they sort of make their way into your brain and do psychic damage. Jeez, they're Star Wars worms or Star Trek. Star Trek. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, really yeah. I'm think. check off now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Musette is unconscious. Is anybody else unconscious? Nope, not me. And Bentley uh, yep. took. Uh, I have ten. Points left. I have ten I have points six. left. Oh, damn. I have sixteen. So, but so I have Musette a mass in... healing, so we're good. <laughs> so Musette is is unconscious in the sidecar. Yep. Yep, I'm in the sidecar. Oh. We switched. Dang. I guess he didn't like the daggers. <laughs> no, he did not. I didn't roll for Jonathan yet, so let's see. Isn't he inside the car? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. eight, and we add another five to that is 13. So he still failed. So Jonathan's, Jonathan's unconscious. Even with Ralph's mage armor, I take that much damage? Yeah. Yeah, the mage armor doesn't help with that. Damn. So, yeah, Jonathan's unconscious, too. 30? Yeah. yeah. Ow. Okay. That's dirty. I'm down yeah, to 21 points. there's a reason points. you said it's passed out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Okay, okay, I got so, 21 yeah, points. And it's Chertovir's turn right now. And then Zoe will be up next after Chertovir. Okay. Hang on, guys. I've got mass healing word coming up. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Looks like I'm going to cast... Chromatic orb. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna choose. I gotta choose what kind of damage: acid, cold, fire, lightning, poison, or thunder. And this spell is second level, so if it's second level or higher, the damage increases by one d8 for each slot level above first. So I would. Uh, so this is gonna be. I'm gonna choose poison. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna. Uh, so I just click spell slot, cast or chromatic orb in spell slot level two Okay. with poison. So that would be a 4d8 damage. Do you, do you, is that an attack roll or a saving throw? I can't remember. Roll to hit. Okay. Uh, yeah. let's do that. Let me roll to hit. I've got 17 to hit. Yeah, that's exactly what you needed. So yeah, you Ooh. hit it. Roll your okay. damage. So now it'll be 4d8. So let me go ahead and roll 4d8s. And that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. Whoa. All right. I love the way that you get all these dice rolling. Uh, 5 14. plus 2 plus 1 plus 6, 14. Wow, yep, we're almost and close to 100 is, points. Uh, Zoe's turn. All right. Fourth level mass healing word. Okay. Nice. And what's the range on that? I mean, I think everybody's in range. Yeah, every, yeah, everybody's in range that you want to heal. And I think okay. you, you'll want to heal everybody. So 15 for everybody. Okay. 15 points back? Yeah, and so if you were unconscious, you wake up. Nice. I'm back to 36 points. <laughs> this doesn't 50, work on me, does it? <laughs> you said 50. It does, yeah. Oh, oh it does. Yay. Well, there's like a maximum number of people that you can heal. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, my uh, death saving throws were up, so I just open it back up and add another 15. Is that what yeah, we're saying? Yeah, and, and it'll make the death saving throws go away when you do okay. that. Okay, got it. Thank you, Zoe. You're, You're welcome. Up. Yay for Zoe. You can fix the van. You can fix us. What can't you fix? That's why you keep me in the back, people. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys fight. I heal you. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
So I got Bentley and, and uh, Jonathan fixed there. We got the ladies in the squad inspiring and healing us. <laughs> and next up is uh, Richard at the top of the round. And the the, uh, the 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 dragon is now kind of flown past the front of the truck. So it's now kind of more in the back. So it didn't hit us? Well, it hit it it instead of swooping down and trying to hit the truck it with like its claws up the worms. and stuff, it it did yeah, it did that instead. Okay. So, but it's going to try to turn around and come after you. And now we're still driving away at full speed, right? Yeah. So you can decide if you want to if you want to try to take it out or you want to run away from it. Well, you know, we already did like 99 points of damage to it. Uh, yeah. And that is one of the three things that we don't want to cut, get together. So, I mean, would it be to our advantage to take to it out? Finish it out. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah. 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 They can't get together if one of them's dead. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying that inside the van. And I say, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, yeah, let's try to finish it off. What do you guys say? Yeah, definitely. At this point, is he turned around or is he facing away from us? Uh, it just it just now kind of went past, and it looks like it's uh, it's trying to start turning around. Can I, I see his face? Uh, not easily. Okay. Well, I kind of want to like try to shoot him in the eyes. Oh, okay. Um, are we still are we seeing like his tentacles, the back of him behind us? As he swoops yeah. past, is it, if he looks like how he is right now, then I want to try to shoot like in between all of his appendages, like into like where they all group together, oh. like inside where it's soft. It, and maybe, it, like, it looks a, a lot more like that picture that I showed earlier than what's on this the the screen there. Yeah, is this like a beholder or something? No, on the map. Okay. <clears throat> oh, oh, the on the map. Um, yeah. I don't know what that oh, thing oh, is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he looks like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so it does. it's not easy to figure out if it has eyes have... or where the eyes would be. Okay, yeah. All right, then I want to just continue spraying this pistol. That's all I can do. I'm okay. I'm going melee. Yeah, roll to hit. It's still in range, so you've got a good, uh, good chance to shoot it. Too. And can I? Can uh, we tell Bentley to slow down and stop? I thought that was a 1, but it's a, it's a 12. I missed. Oh, okay, roll again. You got two hit, two attacks, right? Sixteen. Here's what I found. Shut up. Watch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Sarah says thank you to Amazon Alexa. Oh, really? Yeah. I well, I guess she's hedging her bets in the case of the robot robot apocalypse. Right. <laughs> I, I always leave positive That's feedback smart. for Ziggy. I changed yeah. my name. Did, did, to Ziggy. did you say sixteen to hit? Nice. 16 to hit, yes. Oh, okay, yeah, that misses. Mm. The gun's getting kind of hot. <laughs> and, uh, Ralph, you're up. The worms did not taste as good as you were imagining. They were not. <laughs> is, is Bentley slowing down now? Did, are we telling him to stop? Uh, are you? I, I don't know. I thought we did, right? Uh, or maybe just at least, like, kick it around. Do like a 180. Oh, uh, if you want him to do that, he'll do it. Yeah. But it's how, not his turn yet. But it might fly me out the back of that thing. I don't know about that. Yeah, he'll he'll do that on his turn as soon as you, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm going to go ahead and uh, just hit, uh, hit him with a infestation. How far away is he from me? It's uh, right above the truck in about, you know... What is that? Ten th from you? Yeah. It looks like fifteen feet, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Or ten feet. Okay. Uh, let me hit him with a infestation. You can cause a cloud of mites, please, for the parasites to appear momentarily on one creature you can see within range. The target must succeed on a Constitution saving throw, or take or it takes one d6 poison damage and moves five feet in a random direction. Okay, and that's Two. Constitution 15? Uh, 14. 14, okay. He gave you worms and you're giving them back. Okay, so <laughs> he uh, he passed. Does he take Dam half damage or is that just, good he just doesn't? It, I guess nothing happens. Okay. Damn it. And Musette is next. 
feeling. Musette just barely waking up in the in the sidecar and realizing that uh, it was not a bad dream. The, the dragon is still is still there, but it's behind you now. Well, I mean, I did see it that time before. Yeah. Um, man. So I have a question. How high off the ground is he? Only like maybe seven feet, because it it it, uh, it swooped down like right above the uh, truck. Yeah. Okay. But so does that mean that I'd be able to create a wall of fire uh, along his body, like I did with the um, the daggers? Yeah. It says uh, the wall can be sixty feet long, twenty feet high, and one foot thick. Okay. Oh, or a ringed wall up to 20 feet in diameter, 20 feet high. Yeah, let's do a ring around him instead. Okay. But along his furthest point away from us. Okay. Um, so that he has to fly into it to get uh, to get to the truck? Yeah. Okay. So when the wall appears, each creature within its area... Uh, but I still do want the wall to be, you know, far enough away from us that it's, we're not in the, uh, in the range. Okay. So, sorry, on his, closer to his, I don't know. Uh, yeah, and then just like on his, I guess, head, huh? Okay. The tentacles are his legs, so to speak, yeah. or his back? Yeah, Okay, so that front part's his head? Yeah, yeah, so I would say around his head. Like little, like, crown. I'm gonna crown him in fire. There we go. <laughs> okay. All but right. Maybe just a slightly smaller, so that way we don't potentially get caught up in the... Sorry, Rob. Thank you, Rob. That's a beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that looks uh, great. Yeah. I just don't want any of us to get. Hurt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So, so if it's a um, if it's a ring and his body is bigger than the ring, then he's going to take the damage right now. Oh, right? okay. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. It says when the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, the creature takes five d eight fire damage or half as much damage on a successful save. Uh, wow, he got a natural one, so he failed. What's the damage for that? So this is going at fourth level. It says 5d8 damage. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, that's it. Okay. Okay, so roll, yeah, roll your damage. Okay, 5 plus 8 is 13, plus 3 is 16, plus 7 is 23, plus 3 is 26. 26! All right. I got the same fire damage. He's it's uh, it's it's looking a <laughs> little you. rough. Because I've been adding up, it's like 125 on damage yeah. points. Jeez. Sorry. And next is Jonathan's turn. It's just a hit all this stuff. He's gonna do a chromatic yeah, orb also. Uh, so, is his spell for the illusion concentration spell? So he doesn't. Yeah. He's not doing that anymore, right? For the smaller van. Yeah, yeah. It didn't work, so he quit doing it. Natural one, so he got a nine. He missed with his chromatic orb. That's terrible, Brant. Yeah, you should be ashamed. <laughs> You're the worst, Brant. <laughs> and Bentley's turn, so he's gonna uh, he's gonna kind of slam on the brakes and flip the the truck around, but not in a way that's gonna shoot uh, Richard Matt. out of the back of the truck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, Richard. Yeah. Sorry, I keep calling you Matt instead of your character name. It's okay. I was um, so that he he didn't do it super smoothly though. He got a five on his dexterity, so that's plus. So that's nine. Uh, yeah, Richard, make another dexterity saving throw to avoid getting thrown out. Of uh -oh. <laughs> I take that back. Twenty-two. Oh, okay. Yeah, you. Uh, he, he he skids around and and uh, you kind of punch down and, and spread your feet apart and, and uh, are able to grab onto the, the newly uh, mended roof. It's not my first rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good use of that phrase. Okay. I don't I don't know what this uh, Fifth Dominion rodeo thing is, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you about it sometime. All right. Okay. So the dragon uh, spins around. The dragon comes down on the truck, and it's going to do three attacks against it. Okay, that one is a hit. 
and a miss and a hit. What kind of attack is he doing? Like trying to destroy it, trying to yeah, grab it's, things? It's, it's biting and clawing. Okay. It doesn't seem like he had a lot of claws on the image. Yeah, it's just, it's more like uh, pointy tentacles. <laughs> okay. Oh, actually, actually, just 19 plus 27, because one of them was a failure, so... Does the van have hit points? It does, yeah. It's, uh, what's 19 plus 27? 46? Yeah, 46. Okay. Yeah, the, the van has four hit points left before it's uh, incapacitated. Better start pointing. <laughs> Is she still concentrating on the spirit guardians? I don't. No, I. Well, I did the mass healing word, so I'm. I'm sure that probably needs to go away. No, I, mass healing word isn't a concentration spell, so those could still be. Oh, up. okay. Yeah. And he needs to make his wisdom saving throw. Oh yeah, that's right. He does because he just came back in. Into the range of those things. Twenty-two. So uh -huh. he takes half damage. Can you roll the damage on that? On the spirit guardian's fourth. Yeah. 18 so that would be a nine okay all right yeah he takes nine damage from the spirit guardians how many points do you say the van has left four four <laughs> yeah it's at four out of 50. it's a beater now <laughs> yeah. yikes i'm wondering how we're gonna get to dirt city holy crap a lot okay. of pointing uh, and and <laughs> it's your it's your it's your turn so you said you're gonna get out of the truck yeah, I'm going to get out of the truck, and I'm going to cast a, a Numa bullet at okay. the monster. So when you get out of the truck, you, you, you're, uh, it'll use half your movement to get out of the truck, and then the other, then you still have the other 15 feet that you can still walk. Okay, so I am out of the truck right now. Mm -hmm. I am putting my hands in front of my mouth. Okay. And I blow my Numa. So let's roll the hit. Yeah. Yes, 23. Yeah, that definitely hits. All right. How much damage is that? 35. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's getting in to be in bad shape. All right. And Zoe is up next. Guiding bolt level three. I don't like this worm. Oh, nine, 19. Yep, that hits. So 20 okay. damage. Yep. Okay. I don't okay, like you, Worm. <laughs> we're on top of the next round, and uh, Richard's turn. All right, yeah, I would like to leap out of the back of the truck okay. and uh, kind of run over to a little bit away from the truck just in case it explodes. Okay. And then just start shooting into the into the beast. Okay, and that, that, so that's where you're going? Yeah, that should work for me. Okay, yep, uh, roll to hit. No... No. Wow. Okay, and uh, roll again. That one missed. Twenty-one. That hits. Okay, roll your damage. And Ralph Nine. is going to be up next. Nine damage. Okay. I want to hit him with my agonizing blast. Oh, okay. So it's something that adds. Uh, it's something that's added automatically onto your Eldritch blast. It sounds. Yeah. Like. Okay. Agonizing and repelling blast. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I so you you choose which effect it's gonna do, or is it always like on there? I guess it's always on there, but it's not in my spells section. It's in my yeah, because so, it's, it's in just, my features and traits. <laughs> yeah, because it's just like an added feature to every time you cast uh, Eldritch Blast. Mm hmm. Okay, so you're gonna There's do. A lot to gonna, remember. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I know. So when you you're gonna do Eldritch Blast and it's gonna have this agonizing effect on it. That's, is that like extra damage? It's plus three damage. Oh okay. All right. Uh, roll to hit. Put, all right, I rolled a uh, fifteen, so eighteen. That hits. And then he gets pushed back ten feet. Okay, and roll the damage on that. And you got one more shot, so you because you, you've got two Eldritch Blasts. So okay. roll to hit on the second one. Hold it on the second one. Ah! Three. Yeah, okay, so that one missed. But your first one pushed him back into the ring of fire, uh, so he takes that fire damage again. Sweet. Woohoo! Yeah, so, um, Musette, can you roll, roll your wall of fire damage? Okay, and that is 5d8s again. Okay, uh, six. Okay. 
eight. Okay. Two. Mm-hmm. Three. Mm-hmm. Five. Twenty-four. Okay. Okay. Oh, and he has to make a dexterity save, I think, to avoid getting pushed into it. Oh, 21. Wait, what? <laughs> Is that right? He, he rolled a natural 20 on that? Yeah. Okay. So he takes half damage. So you said 24? Yeah, so he did 12 then, I guess. 12 damage, okay. And that was Ralph's turn. That was pretty good. And then now it's Musette. Okay, so I guess my wall of fire is done. Uh, well, you're, it's concentration, so it's still up as long as you, unless you do another concentration spell. Yeah, I'd rather keep that up then. Yeah. So I guess yeah, I'll just you... shoot it. Okay. Um, um right. Rolled, rolled a hit. Yep. Nine. Nineteen. Okay, that hits. Oh. Was I supposed to add my pl- plus five, 24? Wow. Yeah, that, okay. that hits even more. Okay, so 2d6 plus three, it says. Oh, for your, yeah, for your gun. Okay, so two plus two is four, plus three is seven. Okay. You probably want to move so you're not shooting. Uh, oh, shoot where am I? Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. she could. You, you could. Uh, you could uh, reach around. Could I her step fire out of the way? Over his shoulder and, and deafen him or something. Yeah, <laughs> you're using me to stabilize, like yeah. stabilize your aim. Yeah. Just don't move. Close to my ear. Cause... Yeah. If you want to keep your ear. Yeah. Don't move. <laughs> okay. Next is Jonathan's turn. I'm He's buried. gonna try for one more chromatic orb. My ears are ringing, by the way. That one hits. No one's talking Yay! About that. Finally. And he's doing uh, fire damage. So 33 fire damage. Woo! Jeez. Good boy. <laughs> Keep him in the fire. We're just I killing that, this dragon. I think if Brant were here, he'd be doing some more elaborate stuff, but that's what. Yeah, like Mage Hand to poke him in the eyes or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the top of the tree and just Which wonder. could be a strategy, okay. by the way. Yeah, this thing is in bad shape. Okay, and next is Bentley's turn. So Bentley gets out of the truck and uh, levels his, let's see, his gun at it and fires twice. So I'll just roll it on here so you can all see it. Uh, 24 to hit. So his second one hits. And he does 10 damage. So it... uh, comes around again and it's in the middle of the fire and it's coming out of the fire so he already took that damage uh, it's coming down inside of the uh, inside of the range of the spirit guardians so we'll do another wisdom save on that what is it 15 that he has to be yes 23 so he takes can you roll the damage on that he takes half okay uh, so he'll take 12 okay all right, he's going to do his breath weapon again. Mm. His bad breath. Okay, so everybody make a constitution saving throw. Well, ev- let, let's see. Everybody that's in range. Let's see who's in range of that. Maybe Richard is far away. I don't know. Is it's Jonathan flying? foot line that's 15 feet wide. So actually, Richard is the only one that's out of it. Okay. Is yeah. uh, Jonathan flying? Oh above? yeah, actually. Oh. He, he he flew to get in a, a chromatic orb. So yeah, we could say that he's not in range because he wouldn't okay. need to be right there. So let me do and my I Constitution think... saving throw. Yeah. So everybody roll a Constitution saving throw except for Richard and Jonathan. I got a ten. Okay. Eight plus two ten. I got yeah. worms again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I had worms when I was a kid. Not fun. Yeah. So I think we all every, did. Uh, Dude, a lot of my butt on the ground. Everybody failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Scooting around. Oh God. I got a seven. Okay. Yeah, and you need a you need a twenty-two. 
Ralph got a 14, but I'm gonna uh, he's gonna use his pack of talisman um, okay. to add a d4 to the roll. And uh, yeah. So, okay. So that is. But if it's four and you have to beat 22. Yeah. Four. It's still never gonna. I'm not gonna if you make got it. Never mind. Perfect four. I can't do okay. it. It's not gonna. It's not gonna do anything. Save it for later. All right. So it sounds like did everybody fail? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. How much damage 40, do we get? Forty-eight damage. Oh! oh! Per per person? Yeah. I, I got. I'm, I'm I'm unconscious. Yeah. Me yeah. too. So is Bentley. Okay. Oh, man. Yep. I'm unconscious. 42, okay. you said? 48. Uh-oh. Failure, success, death saves. Uh, I, I'm in the death save business now. Yeah, so is Bentley. So uh, is Ralph. Wait, what about my uh, cloak of displacement? Does that say help me at all? Not not for this. No, only if Damn somebody's it. like doing a melee attack against you. But it's an armor Shh. class thing. Uh, Should have cast Tiny Hut. Hold on. The good, the good news, though, is is that um, this thing is is like a death store. I mean, it's looking really ragged. It's so up to I. you, Richard. <laughs> yeah. It's up to you, Richard. This is your baptism yeah. of fire. <laughs> so that was its turn. And then Churdovir make a death save. So I got four. So that one's a fail. Okay, so that's a failure. So you yeah, put one check mark in there. I did. Yeah. Okay. All right, and Zoe four. make a death save. <laughs> one. Okay. Oh, that's a fail. <laughs> Wait, is there some? I I can't remember if there's something if that counts as two failures if you get a natural one. Oh God. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, it's two fail. It counts as two failed death saves. Oh, oh god! Oh, yeah. oh shoot! God, okay, gosh, darn it. Um, and now, Richard, it's your turn. I would look really any... carefully at everything that at your disposal and see what you can do. I could make a wish. It, it, it you, your sword has one wish, and once that's gone, it's it, that feature will be gone from the from it. Well, it says I can use it again on the next dawn. The wish? Yeah, but yeah, the, wish. on, on, on that sword, they, the, the wishes disappear after you use them, and it only has one. So, yeah, so if it had, like, three charges and you used one, you could still use it again the next day. You know, what it, then it would have to. You but, yeah, it only has... Time. Yeah, the, because he's... Because uh, Cassius has used it before. And you can't wish for more wishes. I mm -hmm. wish that I could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish for a turkey sandwich. I saw a... Um, turkey's a little dry. I, I saw the... <laughs> turkey's a little dry. I saw uh, 3,000 Years of Long Lane. It was a really good movie. Yeah. It was. Oh, yeah. I watched that. Um, I watched that while I was on vacation. I liked that. It was really good. I thought that they were going to just be in the hotel the entire movie, and I was like, I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just them talking. Mm -hmm. I like the way they use the electromagnetic nature of waves to explain mm -hmm. genies. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you got a wish. Yeah. You got a All wish, right. Richard. Yeah, you've got a wish. You've got bullets. Yeah, Ralph will be next so, after, after Richard. Yeah. I don't really know what I should do. But we have six saving throws. It was just better. It was just better. Let's see. What'd you say, Jose? You were like sneezing or something. It was just better. Did you say which is better? No, wish us better. Wish us all the full uh, health. Yeah, that would be pretty helpful. I didn't say that. I'm passed out with my tongue on my side. Like, uh. <laughs> Covered in worms. Covered in freaking worms. <laughs> this is undignified for a retinue. Really <laughs> and I can't help feeling a bit responsible for this. 
Well, I mean, the only person I can talk to is a bird. <laughs> so I don't know really what to do, but I'm thinking, I mean, I've been shooting him this whole time, barely doing any damage to him. But it's, you, got well, you, you, you guys have whittled it down to almost nothing. So, just, so some of us are unconscious, so we have healing spells. I mean, can I wake somebody up? You could do more than that. I mean, you you can you can uh, you can create the effect of any spell that exists. So, I mean, there's like <laughs> mass healing. You know, mass healing. Mass, yeah, mass healing word would uh, would heal everybody. And 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 you and it's at a ninth level, so you'd be casting as if it, you're casting mass healing at ninth level. Well, yeah, then let's use the wish for mass healing. Okay. Bring everybody back to life. I click the charge. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, and, let's look uh, up uh, mass healing word at ninth level. Shoot. Aaron, he could study. just do mass heal, which is 700 hit points divided however you want. Oh. That's a ninth level spell. I yeah. need that. <laughs> Five, for the win. six. Yeah, and there are six of you. So you could, um, that would just about, wouldn't that heal everybody all the way? That would heal everybody. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to do that one? Yes. Okay, everybody gets all their hit points back. <laughs> and uh, okay. and, and, and Richard's turn is over. That bitch. So we get our points back? Oh. Yeah, everybody no. gets all your hit, hit points back. We right. are Jericho. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> all right, as the worm burns, baby. That is not the official jingle of Jericho. No. no. Okay, <laughs> the the no. farmer's insurance one? <laughs> yeah. Probably we'd need Simon Banford to sing the jingle for Jericho. That would we be should. Fun. Oh, that'd be fun. Well, he, he did the intro, so. <laughs> okay. Bardic inspiration. You Let's inspiration begin. <laughs> Chills, chills. So, so the the dragon was just flying around, you know, uh, on fire, and uh, Richard just raised his sword and made a wish, and we all kind of woke up and were like yeah. completely restored. Yeah. Whose turn is it now? Uh, now it's Ralph's turn. Ralph's going to Not hit. Ralph. Uh, I'm gonna do the Eldridge blast again with. Uh, all the bells and whistles. Okay, yeah, and don't forget to add that plus three, the agonizing part, when you do your damage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so roll roll to hit first. Roll to hit? Yeah. Okay, uh, 20. That hits. All right, and then I'm going to roll for damage. Two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. All right. Then I'm gonna you've roll got one, one more of those. Run one more. Okay. I rolled a one. One to hit. And I I did one to hit, and oh, if okay. I use that bard, it doesn't. It won't be enough, right? Uh, well, and you already used that up, I think, didn't you? I thought yes. I don't. I, I didn't think you did. Did you? I guess I did forever ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so okay, the second so one that, doesn't so you hit. Missed on the second one, and now it's Musette's turn. But he gets pushed back 10 feet. Yeah, yeah. So he's pushed back into the fire. Again. Woohoo! Yeah, okay, so, so... the fire stayed so... up even though I was passed out? Oh, no, you're right. The fire is gone. I forgot about that. That was actually, yeah, my first question. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my, yep. my no, spirit that's a good guardian point. should be gone, too. Yeah, and the spirit guardians are gone. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, so Musette's turn. You're, you're uh, waking up and it takes half your movement to stand up. And it was the same for Ralph. It took half your movement to stand up. But you didn't really move anywhere. I mean, I was just going to do another spell, so I could probably just sit up and do my spell. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, so uh, I'm going to do Cloud of Daggers again, but this time at second level. Okay. Like right on his face. Um, let me see where he is. Yep, just right on his face. Okay. If I can put it inside his mouth. 
<laughs> oh god. <laughs> and then just like scratch up the inside. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, that's good thinking. So five yeah. feet on each side, and at a point you choose within range. Yeah, so inside yeah. his mouth, if his mouth is open. And that's a, that's a weird spell that just automatically works. So uh, roll the damage. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm doing... Okay, it's just 4d4. I can remember when it's 4 just Sorry. One, two is three, two is five, and two is seven. Seven. Okay. Seven damage. And I think he'll take damage again when he's moving out of it. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and uh, next up is Jonathan. He was hoping that this would be over and he wouldn't have to do anything. Uh, he's out of chromatic... Oh, no, he can cast chromatic orb at uh, second level. So he's going to do that. And this is acid damage. 25 to hit. So he hits. And 17. Woo! So... So Jonathan shoots a, an acid chromatic orb at it, and it kind of melts the face right off of the front of the thing, and it comes <laughs> crashing down into the ground. Woo. Yeah. yeah. And it's just is lying it, there, uh, not moving. Is it, is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. Yay! Yay! Oh, okay. Oh. Bum, bum, yeah. bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Yep. So at this point, we are out of combat, and we can. This is a good, a uh, good stopping point if we want to take a break. Let's it's, take a break. This episode is sponsored by Don Bertram Celebrate Imagination. Don Bertram Celebrate Imagination Shop is dedicated to benefiting the arts and medicine program at Texas Children's Cancer Center. Over fifty percent of the proceeds go to the Texas Children's Cancer Center, where artist Don Bertram volunteers monthly. Don Bertram is a longtime friend of Clive and celebrates and continues to be inspired by his art. He uses that inspiration to help kids through the Texas Children's Cancer Center, and we couldn't be more thrilled to continue to work with him. There's a news feature video that shows Don working with the kids at Texas Children's Cancer Center and his artwork. Click the side banner at www.cliveparkercast.com to find links to the video and his Etsy shop where you can buy his prints, books, and support this wonderful program. Humanoid character artwork for Musette, Chertovir, Zoe and Ralph by Asia Yordanova. She also created the Unbeheld in the opening title sequence. Jonathan Livingston Seagull artwork by Shayla Sackinger of Bird Ninja Art. Map of the Reconciled Dominions and Isorderex by Marco Staines at Mark Stain Art. Jericho Squad intro composition, Cradle of Jersemet, provided by friend of the show, Ben Warren. Additional in-game music by Tabletop Audio. Bentley Widget here, smashing through the fourth wall like the freaking Kool-Aid man to tell you about our friends at Little Spark Films. Imagine you're sitting around the table eating waffles with your friends and they're all talking about this crazy new film they saw on Amazon Prime or Tubi or Plex. So you're like, yeah, it was totally scary. But you haven't seen it and they can see right through you because you're maybe made out of glass like the Kool-Aid man. Don't be that guy. Go see the torturer right now. Pause this thing, watch it and come back. Support Joe and Catalina. Oops, I mean Ralph and Musette. Also, while you're supporting them, you might want to see their Hellbound Laments, short films featuring boxes from the Pyramid Gallery and configuration boxes. You should also check out Catalina's Barker and Briefs, where she reads Clive Barker books. Eureka! Eureka! Have you ever wanted to visit Fairbanks, Alaska? Catch the Northern Lights, visit Denali National Park, Chena Hot Springs, or any of Alaska's other scenic destinations, come stay in our Eureka Airbnb. Use the code BarkerCast and we'll take 10% off your stay. Make sure there are cool Clive Barker decorations, books, and movies. Maybe you can even join us as we record an episode. (laughs) 
Another great way to support the Barker cast is go to our Tee Public store and get one of our t-shirts. We've got Jose's Baphomet design, Jericho Squad, uh, Cenobium designs by Nina and Ed Martinez, Marcus's Pinhead design, and our old legacy shirts. Just go to www.tpublic.com slash stores slash BarkerCast. All right, so so the battle's over. Uh, the the uh, the dragon is lying in a kind of a steaming heap on the ground, and uh, and your truck is in bad shape. The roof has been ripped off of it again, and the doors are gone, uh, and some of the side panels. But it all seems to be. Uh, Zoe is trying desperately to to touch it so we can start the. Oh. Uh, construction. oh, I thought you were bringing an airplane in for a landing. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I wish. I wish. So, no, sure. I guess that we're gonna be here a while, while uh, Zoe works on the car. We might yeah, as well uh, hollow out this dragon, and I was gonna say. we need to sleep here. <laughs> I sleep thought they smelled the bad on the outside. Yeah, you're only we about need to salvage anything from this dragon. You're only about 200 yards from the cabin, so y- you could stay in the cabin instead of hollowing out the dragon. Well, Richard we brings up a great out point. The dragon and have some dinner. I I I listen to what Richard said. And let's try to see what the dragon has in terms of loot. Does it carry yeah. anything? Or... Uh, but okay. I mean, if he's supposed to be the wing of Hexamindios, is there something like we just killed it? I mean, is that it? Magic stone? Do we need to like cut off a part of it and like Magic take his heart or something? Magic kidney stone. Uh, <laughs> do, do, so Surprise. yeah, if you want to, we uh, got him. Are you gonna like cut it open or dig into it or, or what do you is it, what do you want to do? Uh, I think our designated carcass yeah, that's gonna be uh, Ralph. explorer is Ralph, right? Get it, Ralph. And, and Wreck it, Jonathan and Jonathan Livingston Siegel. Well, I have uh, I have a couple blades I could probably cut into it with. Yeah, yeah. Jo- and, and Jonathan's just sitting at it on top of it and pecking at it right now. <laughs> okay, let's see. That Can is... I go to investigate the cabin? Let's get some feedback. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay, um, so everybody who's investigating, I guess, roll investigation. And Ralph, roll a nature first and then investigation, because nature is just like... Oh, you know, oh my God. Kind of I'm a bounty hunter who can't investigate crap. Jesus Christ, I got investigation three plus six, nine. I got okay. just three. I got so, 17. So it's a little cabin, and it has uh, it has two beds. The door is unlocked. Um, there's no n- nothing there like that you would want to take. It has a wood stove and a, and a stack of firewood. What time is it? It's a uh, oh, it's like eight p.m. Okay, uh, I think I'll cast Tiny Hut inside the cabin. Okay. So we can all have a place to camp without worrying about any creatures getting to us. So I'm going to cast okay. Tiny Hut. What's the size That's... of the, the outside dimensions of the Tiny Hut? I know it's bigger uh, on the inside. Uh, it's a 10-foot radius immobile dome of force. And it can fit nine creatures of medium size or smaller. Okay, yeah, that'll fit inside of the cabin. Yep, that, that should work just fine. If not, it can go outside the cabin, I guess. Okay, so oh, what is Ralph oh. rolling? Oh, uh, so first roll nature because you're is, you're sort of field dressing or cutting up this dragon with my uh, eight, with my twenty. Yeah. So you just add your nature oh. bonus or negative or whatever you have for nature. Roll an eighteen. And then you need to go to your yeah. Since I'm feeling up the truck, should I just go ahead and move myself over there? Uh oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is there anything I can do Where to help the fix ones... the truck? Sorry. Do you have mending? Like Call AAA. No. Let's Let's see, I don't have mending, but is there any Skills action that I can do, do like uh, plus five? Like, so you did twenty-three. Survival. Ralph, Ralph has a. Sorry. What's that? Ralph has a twenty-three. Oh okay. Roll. Uh yeah. Uh, wow. Well, yeah. So with a twenty-three. You're, you're able to really dig into it really easily. So I'm using my uh, moon touch sword to yeah, cut yeah. it open. Okay. And I 
start digging through its guts. I rip open its chest cavity and I work my way to its uh, probably various hearts. Okay. Uh, well, uh, uh, make an investigation check on top my of 20? that. My 20? Yeah, I just rolled a 20. And my investigation is five, so 25 on my investigation. Wow. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, so digging through it, and it takes you, it takes a good hour to, to dig. It's just, This is a huge, huge creature. Um, but digging through it, you find kind of at, at the heart of it, uh, where its brain would be, is one of those wormy looking creatures, the righteous. Oh, is it dead? Oh, I can talk to him. I could talk to animals or other well, creatures. It, it, it is it is dead. Oh. Yeah, but it seems like uh it seems like this kind of grew uh, around it. Oh. Okay, so I guess I should uh probably grab that and bring it back to the cabin and show everybody my discovery. Okay. And and uh, Jose, you were asking about helping with the mending? Uh, so yeah, I, mean, I was wondering if there's anything I can do to assist in uh, fixing the van or or using my survival yeah. skills to find something to make a fire. Well, so <laughs> if you wanted to help with the, it would really be just kind of like manual labor, like as she's mm -hmm. in it. This is going to take hours and hours to do, but as she's yeah. you know. The creating steel out of nothing right then you're kind of making sure that it's bending in the right places and stuff and you can shave a little bit of time off of it or if you want okay. to look for firewood you can but there is a bundle of firewood in the cabin to go oh okay stuff. cool so i'll help zoe uh try to mend the the truck so okay. she can go to sleep at some point and we can all rest in our uh, tiny hut that i cast okay. inside the cabin by the way, okay. I need to have everybody in the cabin so I can cast Tiny Hut. So we can all be inside of it, and then we can all get in and out of it. Oh, okay. So you, so yeah. you take a break from the truck to go do that and to set it yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And and w while this is all happening, and, and while Ralph is uh, investigating the dragon, <laughs> Bentley uh, starts sort of talking to himself. He says, oh, hey, yeah, uh, what? He's angry? What, well, what's that about? Well, you're right about that, because the bird flew off with one of the tiles, and we're trying to get it back. What do you mean we're not there? How does he know that? Yeah, well, I don't know why he thinks that. He's not saying... Well, we can just go to Darthur City ourselves and check it out. Uh, yeah. Right. No, that's not necessary. We've got it. No, really, I mean it. We're, you know, we're pretty tough. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess. I'll, I'll see you there. All right. Bye. Okay, hey, uh, everybody. Um, so I just got through talking to Renfrew from Squad 78. He's that one that looks like a frog. Uh, he said, for some reason, the 112, the Nullianac, is really, really mad. And uh, doesn't believe that, that we're going to let them through. And says that we're not there. And he's going to meet us in, Dar their, their whole squad is going to meet us in Darthur City. Cool. I, you know, I, I mean, I tried to tell him that we've got it under control, but uh, this guy doesn't seem to know why. Uh, Renfrew, you know, doesn't know why or how they're going to get there. Uh, but he says they're going to meet us there. Okay. Well, I guess it gives us plenty of time to investigate the city. Uh, I guess for now, we're just going to have to spend the night here and camp I, uh, out. I want to post something. I mean,. The whole idea is to prevent the hand, the wing, and the heart from coming together. So, we killed the wing. That means we're done. They can't do anything at this point. They cannot bring them together. So, maybe we need to destroy and decimate this body because maybe the body itself has some meaning. So, maybe we should, like, 
destroy it or bury it or move it. I know it's huge, so we probably can't move it. I'd say, man, maybe we just incinerate it or use some sort of arcane energy on it to make it just die or turn into smoke and hmm. go away. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we do have a lot of different spells that we could use, or we could just, you know, Ralph has already kind of cut through it, so I guess we could try. How, how big is this? Is this something we it's could? It's huge. It's huge. Yeah, it's like um, sixty like feet long. Wow. wow. Okay, so we got all gonna... that fuel for the rest of the trip. We can mm -hmm. douse it with fuel and just like burn it. But then, how do we get back? It's a long walk. Not that bad. I mean, yeah. I mean we might. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, but that's all we would have to do, right? Like, I, I don't know. We, we just, still have to fight those guys because they'd be mad. I say we have dinner and then burn the rest of it with like our magic because that's what we do. Well, who's got who's got fire magic? Musette. Oh yeah, she does. You, would that yeah, magic be able to destroy? If, if you've got spells that are cantrips that you can just cast those over and over again and they don't use up your spell slots. Mm. At this point, it's dead matter. Can it just burn? Yeah, I've got Ray of Frost, so I don't have anything that's fire. Um, I don't think my Eldritch Blast can burn it. I just have that wall of fire. <clears throat> yeah, and that's not a... Um, that's from your liar. Or from your... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got Maximilian's Earthen Grasp, which is create like the soil comes up in hands and reaches for the creature and pulls it down. But I don't know that that could bury it in the ground. It's more like bludgeoning damage. Yeah, I mean, you, you could definitely mess it up some more. It's just, it's, mm. right now it's still dead. Well, we it, took out the righteous out of the, Ralph took out the righteous, so... Maybe that dead righteous was what was, you know, what was taking control of it. The, the essence of it. Yeah, we could probably try to destroy the righteous or bury it. Do you think there's a little bit of uh, righteous inside the Noah Reynak too? Like a little, hmm. you know, I think men the in black too, or the guy in the head? I think the Nullianak is already at its core connected deeply to Apex Mendios. Like Apex Mendios created the Nullianaks. So I, I would imagine that that is just, it's just whatever's remained of Nullianax's, uh, of the Nullianax, because they were all brothers, right? They were all part of the same consciousness. So maybe that's just that. still connected to Apixamendius? Well, good to know I didn't know that, I guess. Yeah. Um, Can't some one of y'all make some, things invisible temporarily? Not Just, me. Uh, I thought the bird could do that. Maybe. I, I have... Um, hmm, where'd it go? Invisibility. It's from my liar. It, it, you know, each creature you touch becomes invisible till the spell ends. Mm, okay. How long does it take? Concentration up to an hour. But I think you'd have to be there concentrating on making it invisible, mm -hmm. right? I think so, yeah. So does not uh, sound. Jonathan can oh, do yeah. up to four people. I can do Misty Escape with it, but then I'm gone, because I have to be stuck with it. How about, I mean, we do have gasoline, we do have a, 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 a little cabin here that's pretty flimsy. We could just break the cabin down and burn it. How long until they get here? That's the thing, right? We don't know. I mean, how do they know we're not there? Are they there already? All they said was they were going to meet us in Darthur City. <clears throat> Shit. I mean, okay, I'm just... going to go back to cutting this thing up then. Until yeah. we come up with a better plan. I, I say we don't... We already killed it. So if we just bury the righteous and we just cut up the body some more, I think we, I think it won't be able to be resurrected, right? I think the priority now is try to fix our van and get to Durther City and prepare for our meeting there. What if we interview the righteous? I can bring it back to life. Well, I was, I mean, I have speak with dead, so. Interrogate the dead? Interrogate him, yeah. Oh, that's so interesting. They can ask, we can ask him up to 10, uh, um, 
Sorry. Up to five questions. Just genius. The corpse knows only what it knew in life, including the languages. Answers are usually brief, cryptic, or repetitive. The corpse is under no compulsion to offer a truthful answer if you are hostile to it or it recognizes you as an enemy. The spell uh, doesn't return the creature's soul to its body, only its animating spirit. Thus, the corpse can't learn new information, doesn't comprehend anything that has happened since it died, and can't speculate about future events. Don't worry, then. I'll okay. charm the dead guy. Okay, okay no, but, did... but Zoe has probably better spells for it. Well, what I was going to say was, did I hear correctly that it's not under any obligation to tell the truth? Right. Okay, yeah, I've got a it. truth spell. Hang on, let me find it. Where is it? Zone, zone of truth? Uh, be I believe so. Hang on. Uh, mm. I see it. Yeah, I have zone of truth, too. I know, but if you're doing one spell... <laughs> but if you're a necromancer, wouldn't it be better for you to da cast a necromancy spell? It would be a stronger spell, then. If we flipped, I'm saying we'd flip um, the spells. You bring it back to life, and then I do Zone of Truth. I can do that. Because are you, I'm assuming your options are better than mine. Because I have... Let's see. I've got... Oh, Ray's dead. Uh, I've got third level Revivify. I've got seventh level Resurrection. Five charges on the Rod of Resurrection. You might have to do that one because I think Ray's dead. It has to be within one minute of when it went down. And yeah, Ralph's so I can do the this thing open for an hour. Yeah, I can use the rod of resurrection. I've got five charges on it, so so I can bring it back to life if you want to do the truth spell on it. Because mine, as long as it hasn't, as long as it's been dead less than a century, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that didn't die of old age. And that isn't undead. I don't think we really want to put it back together, though, if Ralph spent all yeah, that time just I, figuring mm -hmm. it. We okay. just want exactly. the little thing, not the giant thing. Yeah, we're, gonna exactly. yeah we're, we're just talking about the righteous. You're right, you're yeah, right. Yeah, we're just interrogating the little thing I found in the brain. Yeah. Yeah. And you can interrogate it while it's dead. If you use... Okay, so uh, we're back to... The... We're back to she's going to do Zone of Truth and I'm going to do Speak with the Dead. Wait a minute, let me... Hang on, let me find it first. <laughs> oh, where did I find it? Zone of Truth. Okay, so I'm all right. Is that right, everyone? We're okay, okay. with that? Should we okay. not formulate our five questions first? Yes, we should. Okay. Uh, I've got some questions written down here. I think some of these might be good. Uh, I'll mute this one. We could ask what is happening at Earth or City. I guess we can ask him who is its master. Uh, you know, whatever you guys think about it. What kind of information can we get out of him? Like, what happens if the wings met the heart and the hands? I don't know. That's yeah. actually probably a good one. Who are you waiting for? Or what are you waiting for? You know? Okay, what is your function? Conjunction, junction. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. So how about each one comes up with a question? I have no okay. questions. I, you guys answer the questions. Y'all okay. seem to be the ones with the know-how. Mm -hmm. And Jonathan's not paying attention. He's just overeating the the dragon. All right. Well, well where is where's the heart? The the heart? I left the heart back there. No, I... no. He's that's one of his that's questions. Question. Oh. Okay. So um, uh, I'm personally fine with uh, Trudevier and uh, Richard doing the questions. Their line of questioning sounded pretty good to me. Okay. Not um, not where's the heart, who is the heart? Yeah. Oh, who's the heart? Okay. Sorry, I'll so I'm going to go ahead and change. cast <clears throat> Speak with the Dead. Okay, it lasts for ten minutes. Um, okay. You grant the semblance of life and intelligence to a corpse of your choice within range, allowing him to answer the questions you pose. The corpse must still have a mouth and can't be undead. Oh, okay. okay. Does he have a mouth still? The righteous? Yeah, you didn't destroy it. I didn't destroy yeah. it. The spell it, fails. It, if the it has a sort of weird vestigial face, so it's like it doesn't look like it has a functioning mouth and eyes or nose or anything. It's it's can, a can it speak at all? That's from what you remember of these things. They speak telepathically. Ooh, okay, okay. So does that mean the spell is not going to work? Uh, it says the corpse must still have a mouth, can't be undead. 
It also says the spell fails if the corpse was the target of this spell within the last 10 days. Well, I don't think he would have been the target. No. Yeah. Does he, do we um, all do we all hear this thing? Or, or yeah, is it just so, Musette and Zoe? Well, what if it's a psychic mouth? Can yeah. Bentley hear it? I mean, obviously he's getting messages in his brain. Okay. I mean, I think that counts as a mouth. Think, but it's I really think... up to it's really up to the person in charge how they wanna It's an yeah. intelligent creature, right? It can communicate, so Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so am I casting this spell or not? <laughs> Yay, so your name. I'm, I'm, I'm going to rule that it will work. Okay. okay. So I'm going to go you... ahead and cast Speak with Dead. All okay. right. All the way up here. Boop. There's the slot. Okay, so when you cast okay. uh, Speak with Dead... It uh, its head kind of looks up towards you, even though it has no eyes. Okay, are you guys ready for me to do my zone of truth? Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right. What's the uh, what's the the saving throw for zone of truth? Uh, I think it's wisdom, probably. Fif uh, charisma. Charisma, oh, charisma fifteen. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, it's cast. He failed. Uh, so, yeah. Start right. talking. Okay, go R ahead. Richard, do you want to start? Who is the heart? The heart is Hapeximendios. Um, let me ask, uh, uh, what is happening at Durther City? The people of Darthur City are merging with the heart of Hapeximendios. What does that mean? The will does of that the people... Does that count as a question? That's not our question. <laughs> no, 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 no. The people become the body of Hapeximendios. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it! I'm sorry. God, bro! Okay, so what is that? That's three, right? Three. That's yeah, three. That's three. three. Anybody got any other questions there? <laughs> well, I guess I don't feel bad for wasting one. Come on, guys. We got less than 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to phrase this not as a question so that it is not confused. We need to um, find out exactly what that means, merging. How you... I'm not going to say a question. <laughs> I understand what you mean. <laughs> Is that process reversible? No. Oh, shit. Okay. Reversible. So... Jodavir! Yeah. That's question. Three. Please do not make this statement in the form of a question. What are you <laughs> intending on asking it? Okay. Uh, I well, already asked maybe... it. So we know that uh, so we know that Apexamendios heart is what's at whatever was left of Apexamendios. We know that Durther City, the people are merging together to create the body of Apexamendios, and we know the process is not going to be irreversible. Okay, so what else should we ask him? I have I have a good question to ask him. I was thinking about asking him something to the nature of. Will it still succeed now that, uh, you know, something like this will still succeed if the, the wing is dead? I think or that's a good one, because succeed? how do we know that it doesn't just, like, transfer into something else? You know, like the will of it, basically. I mean, it might only need the heart. I know. I'm sure it's got a different plan. A backup plan. Or it could adapt. You could ask it if there is a preventable way to, if there is a way to prevent this, and asking that question someone who is more articulate than, like, like except for example, like we could ask it, uh, how can we stop that process of the heart merging with people? I guess I don't know if it will know that. 
Probably something simple like kill it. How do we kill the heart? I guess it's, it's going to come back in the form of a riddle. It's gonna, yeah. If it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> if it bleeds, it leads. So I guess it's safe to assume that people from Durther City are lost to us at this point because they're probably merging into like a giant made out of people. Do we know when this is happening? Uh, is that your question? Yeah, how, much- what? how about we ask it, how can we defeat the heart? Did, did Ralph just stop? ask the last question? Okay, I don't know. Did I? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't hear anything. Uh-huh. He asked us, not the... Okay. I didn't ask. I did not phrase anything in the form of a question. This is not Jeopardy. <laughs> anyway. Okay, last question. Someone go. Uh, Jodavir, just ask your question. <laughs> can the can the heart be destroyed? I don't know how the Aboriginal can be defeated. Is that his answer? Yeah. All right. Okay. So we're out of questions. Yeah. yeah. Does it just fall dead? Yeah. It. Uh, okay. So we let up the spell. It 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 just kind of lays lays its head back down on the ground again, and it becomes still. Uh, okay. So. That so was. What, inter- what? 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 No, no, no. Go ahead. I was just gonna ask what the ETA on the on the truck was. They're probably okay. gonna take us all night, right? Well, it, yeah, I mean, it, it would take more time than you have. So, I mean, it would take you could work on this thing for a week. So, it just depends on how much how much time you want to spend on it. Is how many hit points it's the truck's going to get back. Well, how okay. much hit points will you use just driving down this road? He, you said it's moving at four points, right? Yeah, motor the truck can already there. move. It's, yeah, but it's, miss, it's all still beat there. up and stuff. It's missing yeah. panels and. Can we drive it all to the Earther City, or doesn't seem like it would make the rest of the trip? Yeah, it would. It, I think it would be okay. Okay. You know? well. well, let's saddle up. But we should probably spend the night here first, right? Because it's like what nine p.m. now. Oh, we're fully, yeah. it, we're, we're fully healed, and uh, all right. we're wait, we're killing time. Yeah, yeah you, I think you've, we should... you've got spell slots used up. Yeah, I was gonna say. And, All right, and let's if, take a sh- And if you drive there, whoever's driving is going to be exhausted. Yeah, I think we should at least take a short rest. Okay. All right. If if we decide to spend some hours fixing the truck, um, how many points will we get back on the truck? How many hours are you talking about? Let's say four hours. Okay. Uh, four hours. You could roll a d6. For how many hit points he gets back? Let's yeah. roll with d6. All of us are just Jodavir. D6. So this is me since I'm the one touching it. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we're talking. Yeah, we're and talking so about we... from 8 p.m. until midnight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, four hours. Yeah. So I got a okay. five out of the six dice roll. Okay. Yeah. So the truck had four hit points, so now it's up to nine. Okay, which is operable, right? We can still yeah. drive it. We can still yeah. drive it. So, okay. Uh, all right. So I guess we fixed it up a little bit. Uh, we can drive without... You already put the tiny hut in the in the. I did, yeah. House. Yeah. So do you guys want to grab some food and, and go to sleep and do a long rest and start again in the morning? How yeah. long is a long rest? Eight hours. Eight hours. Or well, it's six to eight hours. When, okay. How far away is it? Eight hours? Yeah. Yeah, it's another eight hours, too. So if it's yeah. midnight and we sleep for eight hours and then we get up and then, like, say, we take an hour to get everything ready and leave, yeah. we're going to potentially be there by, like, 5 o'clock p.m. Sure. Of the next day, yeah. Yeah. Or 5 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys want to roll in there in the evening or in the morning? I mean, how do you guys want to play this? I want to get there. I think we should get there as soon as possible. We don't know what uh, squad stupid faces, uh, what time they're going to be there. Right. And we don't know exactly what it means with these people merging to create the body of Apex Amendio. So it seems like we might find ourselves in an empty city with the giant monster forming there. 
Yeah. Do you want me to Maybe try to ask them like... when they're going to get there? Ask who? Squad 78. You've had that? Uh, no. I don't want to talk to them. No. Okay. Uh, I think the window well, of opportunity Why don't we just take a short rest, rest and then head over? Yeah, we just take a short rest and then go. Short rest. That way, uh, can't we reset our spells and stuff like that? And just then, the uh, long rest, I think. Yeah, just long the long rest. rest. Short rest is just for healing yourself, which you've already done. Okay. Well, I still so, got some slots left. I got, like, two slots of third level. I got, like... Most of our healing is taken up, though, isn't it? Most from... Well, I've still got my... I've got my rod that can heal and revivify. Oh. Ooh. So, okay. I've got... Well, heal... Um, using the rod, the heal... Uh, gives 70 hit points, so I can definitely save one person who's on death's doorstep and I've got five charges for resurrection and I've got plenty of healing words and mass healing words so I mean okay yeah we're good on that three slots of first level I still got a few slots on second level and third level and okay. I've got some... so I guess we are just gonna head on out are you good on your slots yeah I'm yeah not... so we spend the night in the cabin and then we start again in the morning or do you guys just want to go now because I feel like Realistically, we we would probably be hungry and tired. I just ate a giant piece of dragon. Okay, y'all are fair. more than welcome to well, have some dragon. Like sitting in the corner of the room, like munching mm, on a fair. tentacle. Okay, so I feel like you guys want to just get in the get in the van and try to get it moving. It's midnight, so I guess who else is going to drive except for Bentley because he's already been dr- driving for a while. Well, I can says, drive I'd rather now. I'd rather take a rest bef- r- rather than just continue on driving again. I think if somebody, I want somebody else to drive. If if uh, I'd really rather just stay here, but if if you really want to drive, somebody else needs to do it. Yeah, Richard, you can drive this car, right? Yeah, I drove it back from the last time we had an encounter with this guy, and I, if I remember correctly, I think we were able to rest up in the vehicle while we were driving, or at least one of us was. The okay. yeah, we took turns driving. driving. Yeah, I, I because I was uh my shoulder was all jacked up. Right. I don't mind going to the bed of the the van and protect our rear. You know, just hang out there while we're moving. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Protect the rear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I got my chromatic orbs and shit. Yeah. Protected uh, from transients. Yeah. How many transients. spell slots do you have left? Me. Yeah. I've got one spell slot in fourth level. I've got one slot third level. I got two slots second level and three slots first level. Okay. I mean, I've used everybody... one of the first level, one of the second level, two of the third level, and one of the fourth level. Because you you just you guys just just defeated one of the aspects of the of Hapexamandio. So if you got another one coming up, you'll you'll be good with. Uh, where you're at now with your spell slots and everything? I think we're he's trying to tell us to take a good. break. I mean, look. Okay. If if it's going to take Squad 78 maybe days to get to Durther City, then we can more than take a rest here and start again in the morning. I mean, it's going to take another eight hours to get there. If we start at eight in the morning, we'll get there by four in the afternoon at dirt or city we can mm-hmm. stop at the outskirts just so we don't you know we're not going to roll into the center of the city because we don't know what to expect but we could probably like find ourselves in the suburbs of the city by 4 p.m and then we can you know stealthily see what's going on what do you guys okay, think? So we're gonna you, you bump don't know down how long for a long rest take them. you don't know how long it's going to take them to get there because bentley didn't know or how they're right. getting there. Yeah, but I mean, like we're saying, you know, it's probably willing to take the chances, uh, yeah. assuming that they didn't leave early and they were already prepared to, you know, betray us anyway. Yeah, right. So I don't know how long it's going to take them to get there. And Bentley said they could take them a week to get to Zordorex. So I'm operating on that premise. I think they're coming so up with an alternative method rest. of meeting us there. So I think they're trying to talk about meeting us there like tomorrow. Because they're Ooh, like, yo, okay. we can't, uh, we can't use your teleport pad. Well, they're heading to Darth City anyways. Well, we'll just meet you there. Like, oh, you're going to yeah, meet that, us there. Yeah, that's how it went down. That's basically yeah, what that's he how was it sounded saying. to me. But he didn't mm, understand okay. how they were going to get there, 
and uh, like they got other teleport th- and, pads, and bro. It's not 112 just wasn't going to tell them. I mean, we don't know if there might be other dragons that they might be using to fly there. For all we know, right? I mean, we just killed a dragon. Who knows if they have another dragon? That's the thing. I've never seen this creature before, have I, uh, Ryan? This dragon that attacked us. I don't no, know what not, it is. Not until this time. Yeah, you just heard about it. Yeah. It's like, I've never seen these things. I don't know how many are out there, but if there's one, there's got to be another, right? So I still think we need to make our way to Durther City, but I think it's better if we prepare ourselves because if we're going to be dealing with the heart of Apex Amendios there, plus the Jericho Squad 78, plus Cassius, I think we should get a, a, a good rest and uh, oil our guns, uh, holster our weapons, uh take care of our whatevers and prepare our spells. Okay. So um, I guess make an intelligence check. Me? Yeah. Okay. Intelligence check. Come on. I've got a 12. Okay. Well, I mean, you just talked to this thing. It told you that the heart was in, in the first dominion. Not in Darthur City. Oh, I didn't hear that part. Yeah. Okay. That was so one of your, that was one of your five questions. Right. That was the I actually the one part. that Ralph an, asked by accident. Oh. Okay. I just heard that they the the they were merging in Darthur City to become like the body of the Pexamendios. So it, they're they're probably just walking into the First Dominion then and and merging there. Yeah, and okay. it's it, it takes hours to get from Darthur City to the because that's where to, the, to the, the was, ocean right? that's the border of the First Dominion. Okay, so that's even better. Let's go through Darthur City see if we can find anything. It's probably going to be empty, and uh, if we find Jericho Squad there, I guess we'll deal with them or expose um, expose Cassius Briar for the fraud that he is, and uh, see what happens. What do you say, guys? Spend the night at the hut and start in the morning? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I need those spell slots. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'd be better to have them than to not. Yeah. Okay, so do we click Wait. like a long rest? Long here? rest, rest yeah. And if you're all well, in the hut. If y'all want, I'll cut you off a piece of dragon for a dis- dinner. Nobody wants but just that. Just don't fart in the tiny hut. Okay, Ralph, I'm just don't do not. that. I'm not. You like right. it, though. Okay. And and Jonathan, if you gotta poop, you, you gotta walk outside the bubble and poop there. <laughs> so or smoke. Jonathan if you want to smoke I'll, a cigarette, take, you smoke outside. Jonathan says, I'll take some of that dragon. Yeah. He's been he's been eating it this whole time, but okay. I did a long rest, so Okay. Long Should rest. We, yeah. So so um the night went by uneventfully nothing nothing attacked your tiny hut or anything like that you, you wake up in the morning um your truck is a little bit more repaired than it was and uh good job Zoe have, have, have your breakfast is there anything that uh, you guys want to talk about before you drive out or you can also talk on the road sort of some of you can yeah so I mean, it feels like we already were discussing this last night, like how, what's, what should we prepare for in the Durther city? Uh, I guess, I don't know. I know as much as the other people know. So all I know is the Durther city, from what I've read, from what I know about being a, 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 a resident of his order X, I can tell you guys that Durther city started out as a encampment of uh, religious kind of refugees. So they were like, they worshipped the Man of Sorrows uh, over there. And uh, yeah, I remember there was some guy who was a big shot there, but I don't know a lot about that. I see, I see. So we're going to like some religious fanatic kind of place then, eh? Ryan, do I know anything about 
um, how Dirtur City got created and what kind of city it is? Like, if it's like uh, a temple city, if it's like what? You make a history check. History check. Okay. All right. History. I got 13 plus 6, 19. Okay, yeah. Um, with the 19, yeah. It, it uh, Like you had said, it, it had started out as just an encampment. Uh, but once Hepeximendios fell, um, it, it started to grow up and become more of a city. There were more and more people that wanted to visit and to look at the shores because the erasure disappeared. And so now there's a, now it's instead of a, instead of a, an emptiness, it's, it's like an ocean shore. And so people come to look at it and, and it's, it's become sort of a Mecca. And because people come through, uh, Darthur City became a little bit of a of a tourist destination, mm. and so that's kind of what it is now. It's 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 also super religious. I mean, there's a lot of religious people that still live there, and uh, but it also kind of capitalizes on on the fact that people come through and and want to want to have this religious experience. Branson by the sea. Yeah. So, <laughs> so they sell little statuettes and little amulets and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's what we should expect at Durther City. I don't know what else is happening there, but I guess we'll find out. All right. So Let's we're go. driving. We're already driving now, or we're yeah, getting into yeah. the van? Okay. Yep. I think I'll have enough time to get a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a, an interesting souvenir from that dragon back there. Uh. So I, I got a little... <clears throat> As you're driving on the road, uh, you do start to see, after about a half an hour of driving, you start to see broken down vehicles. Uh, the people are missing. Um, and uh, motorcycles, uh, you see the carcasses of, of uh, Doeki. And they horses. look carnage. Yeah. Uh, but no people. It's really strange. There's no, no corpses, no, no people, nothing, but lots of uh, broken down vehicles and transport of different kinds along the drive you kind of assume that the dragon did this stuff that, uh, that no, creature was busy yeah mm. nobody ever made it past the halfway point uh so it looks like it let people get as far as the cabin or a little further and then that was the end of it the people that were coming to Darthur City and the people that and the people that tried to leave were were uh, destroyed right away. I'm gonna say, Jesus! The dragon must have been doing this for days. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about William Hope, right? Being at the yeah, yeah, from Hellbound. Yeah, you, you, yeah, Laurie, you'll get to meet him, I think, right? Or no, no, he's not going to be at that one. He's going to be at the other one. And he won't yeah, be at Las Vegas. Yeah, he'll be at the was it New Mexico? I forget. I, that I think one, one of them. Yeah. So certainly, I feel I feel like there's a there's a, a net gain from what we did in terms of heroics that we say you know we defeated a, a, a creature that's been destroying a lot of property and taking a lot of people and pro possibly eating them for all we know so i feel like you know this is this is one of our best adventures so far so i'm, I'm kind of getting a little stoked about and anxious about getting to dirther city uh and i tell richard let's let's drive a little slower now and and, and uh see if we can stop right before we get into the city okay i agree all right. We well, um, yes, very nice. Now, are are all of the vehicles broken down, or did some people like get out of the vehicle and run? Like we could have a vehicle that we could use, maybe. Uh, if you want to stop and look at them, yeah, you definitely that that's a possibility. Yeah, and our is our bike still running well? And is is yeah, Musette and Ralph and the bike? <laughs> yeah, the the bike is in great shape because the it attacked the truck. Um, that's that's great thinking, Zoe. We should probably check to see if we can find any cars that would be better than okay. this van. Okay. So, what should I and make an investigation check? Uh, Zoe. Investigation check. Oh. There we go. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, yeah. So with a thirteen, you thought you saw 
you did see uh, what looked like an older version of a of a truck, um, a pickup truck. This one doesn't have a flat bed, uh, like a flat plywood bed on it, like yours does. This one would, was a regular pickup truck, but like an older uh, '50s style one that looks like it's in decent shape. The door is standing open. Do you want to stop well, what, what and, and investigate it, or stop and look at it? Yeah. What do you say, Bentley? Are you willing to uh, trade a uh, trade into another vehicle? I suppose. All right. How about we check that one out? Okay. Uh, so yeah, you you look at that one, and the keys are still in the ignition. Um, nice. And yeah, turning S. the key, it looks like it's got about half a tank of gas still. There we go. All right. So I, I we transfer the rest of the fuel we might have into that truck, and uh, we kind of pile into it. So you're gonna you're gonna leave the old one behind. Bentley, okay with that? Uh, yeah, I mean, we yeah, don't this, have this to. This one looks better. I, I, okay. I'm sorry to say that the people who had this probably don't need it anymore. Yeah, we'll, certainly we'll looks like pull our truck over to somewhere strategically in case we ever need to come back and get it or something, like a cash. Yeah. Okay. Or to, you could drive it too, but or you could just leave it here and then drive it on the way back. Uh... uh Okay. Yeah, we could put it like just outside the city, just in case. Um, all right, so we move all equipment into it, and we park the other one by the side of the road, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, Bentley's Bentley's cool with that. So, um, the and and um, does Zoe continue to mend uh, as you're driving? Mend what? The new truck. The the beat oh, up well, truck? I guess, um, yeah, I guess that would have been the old truck. Were, was she mending as you were yeah. driving for another hour or so? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So roll we, a D4. We didn't know we were getting a new truck. <laughs> yeah, so roll a D4 to, to uh, we can maybe add some hit points to that. Roll a D4, okay. Are we adding points to the truck we're leaving behind? Yeah. Okay, we might be able yeah. to pick two? it up on the way back. I got yeah, a two. I, Okay, I was going to do that when we got to Darthur City, but uh, since we're dropping it off now. Okay, so sure. it's got a total of 9 out of 50. Okay. All right, so you're getting the, uh, in, in your new truck, which is actually a little bit of an older model, uh, and drive the rest of the way to Darthur City. Does anybody have anything you want to look at, look for or talk about on the way? Uh, I open up the glove compartment of the car and see what's in there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Lots uh, and you, lots of McDonald's napkins. <laughs> you see, uh, you see, like, religious paraphernalia uh, having to do with visiting Darthur City. Checks it out. Yeah. Um, so they were, they, were, they were on the way back from Darthur City? Uh, they, the uh, they were on their way to there. It was pointed towards Darthur City. Oh, I wonder if they were, like, taking that to sell there. Well, it's just, they look, they look like they're ones that have been, it's just, like, one, a couple sure. of them. And sure, sure. They got, like, yeah. they got, like, uh, St. George uh, paraphernalia for cars and uh, rosaries and stuff like that. Yeah, it, it, they look like people who are just excited about going to Darthur City. I kind of sneer my lip at it and close it back and be like, there's nothing but junk in here. Now, the people that are coming to Darthur City, um, how are they getting the religious information? Because I'm just wondering, with an older truck, it's probably going to be an AM radio, which is usually a lot of religious programming. So oh. is there anything being transmitted that might give us a clue? And um, and Chertovir could tell you that, that uh, there's, no, there's no radio signals. Okay. Okay. There's well, no transmitters. Worth the shot. Yeah. Worth the okay. shot. Now that would be something. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to WKYZ yeah. is Order X Radio. All yeah, fifth Dominion yeah. all day. Yeah, they, they <laughs> imitated television by by using magic because they don't really there's they don't really have an understanding of how of the science of television, so they kind of imitated it. But uh, <laughs> but for radio, they haven't done anything. 
Oh, so it's just regular religious programming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so after um, eight hours, or, or actually probably more like nine after you went and got the new truck, uh, you arrive, it's about 5.30 p.m., at uh in at the and you're you're pulling up to the outskirts of Darthur City. All right, so I say let's try to hide the truck and uh establish like a, a base of operations. Okay. I have a suggestion too. Could we see uh since Jonathan can get literally a bird's eye view of like the the city, have him fly way overhead and see if he spots anything and report back to us. Yeah. Okay. Basically, have him be our drone. Yeah. <laughs> so Jonathan says, okay. He would probably be more uh, be more um, disrespectful in person, but... That's okay. You yeah. could say, can you fly up? And he'd be like, I don't know, can I? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so he f he flies up and and uh, he starts circling around and and uh, anything you guys want to do while he's doing that. This dirt, their city. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. This is the the entrance to it here. Uh, I'm gonna cast Mage Armor. Okay. I'm gonna well, cast Mage yeah, Armor. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Yep. Okay, hold on. There we go. Oh shit. Sorry, he moved the thing. I'm gonna have Jonathan do a perception check. Okay, so I have um, wow. I have this called aid. Uh, your spell bolsters your allies with toughness and resolve. Choose up to three creatures within range. Each target's hit point maximum and current hit points increase by five of the duration, and the duration is eight hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who so the issue is, though, that means I can't do everybody. Yeah, so you so... gotta pick who you're gonna do that on, and then those people get temporary hit points. There's a little okay. space for temporary hit points there. Okay. But I can still go ahead and do um, do Bardic <laughs> Inspiration for the person who's left out, so that way everybody is like, gets something. Yeah. Okay, so Zoe, would you rather have Bardic Inspiration or Aid? I've already got Aid. I have Aid myself, second level. I'm saying, okay, you know what? No, then, whatever. I... Uh, aid, we're going to send Aid to Ralph, Richard, and Trudevere. Okay. I, that makes better sense, I think. Because we die easy. Okay, so you do not want bardic. You do not then, Zoe, want bardic inspiration. Well, you want zero help whatsoever. Well, yep. I've got I've got a spell that I was going to cast too, which actually is going to probably help me. So go ahead and help them For yourself. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Copy that. Okay. Well, then we'll just do it that way. So who got who got those? Uh, Chertovir and who else? Richard and Ralph. Oh, okay. Musette cast aid and gave the uh, those three people temporary hit points um, any, anybody else doing anything while he's up um, there looking we're right here out at the front oh okay let me see is there like yeah, a gate it. is there a city gate yeah it's standing open you can okay walk in. Yeah. Uh, like can I try to, to yeah go ahead no you, you go ahead I was just gonna say I was gonna see if I can uh, stealthily walk into the gate and just kind of lay against the wall and try to see what's going on down the street if I see anything. You're like yawning and stretching. I have elf booties. I can walk in and no one can hear me. Okay. So you guys are trying to walk in stealthily, it sounds like? I am, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, this yeah, true roll, scene roll that I have Who's... possibly okay. to give us some insight before we do that. Oh, so inside. everybody that is walking in, uh, make a stealth roll. I got 21, 18 plus 3. Oh, okay. Somebody made a charisma check for some reason. Stealth roll? Yeah. I got a 14. Okay. 16. 
I okay. go in there and I, yeah. All right. Well, when you I walk in, uh, 19. it's 19. Ralph has a 25. You guys all did really well. I guess I better roll okay. for uh, Bentley. Too. Bentley. Yeah. It's kind of fuzzy, so I'm guessing he's pretty good at stealth because he doesn't do a lot of noise when he moves. I also have advantage on dexterity. Yeah, Bentley oh. did great, even though he has disadvantage because of his armor. Uh, so yeah, you guys all kind of sneak in, and it's very, very quiet. There's nobody here. Uh, you don't see any. You don't see anybody. Um, s- some doors are open, some are closed. Uh, the the there's no sound, uh, no people w- anywhere. Um, that's that's creepy. I'm I'm worried about undeads here. <laughs> Yeah. It's kind of a, a little bit of a That's... ramshackle looking town. Uh Durther City is it looks like some of the some of the buildings started out their lives as tents and were added on to later. Uh some and uh, and a lot of them were, were are made out of kind of salvage materials and stuff. Town is a toilet. Yeah, it's not it's not great. It looks like it was uh it's not that old of a town and it was just kind of thrown together. So like a shanty town of sorts? Yeah, a little bit of yeah. That's a good description. And there's no sound whatsoever. Nobody. Nope. Okay. Well, we're here I... now. What, Joe Devere? So, which which is the tallest building? Which is the biggest building that looks the most important? Um. So right ahead of you, there's like a garden. Uh, let's see. I can't remember what. <laughs> okay, and then there's a a couple of houses. Uh, along the along your left there, up at the mm-hmm. top of the map. I see uh, a row of houses to my west, and uh, I see yeah. some a garden to to the north. And uh, yeah. they look which like one's the biggest? Small, a bunch of small houses. Uh, it, it looks like there nothing might be stands out. Kind of a, uh, up ahead, past that garden, and to the right, mm-hmm. that appears to be some kind of a a meeting place or maybe it's a restaurant or a cafe or something do you, would you mind pointing that out to me uh let's see how do I yeah that oh one. that one that one yeah. all right um let's go to the pub can I yeah can we can I continue to advance towards that that building carefully uh yeah yep you uh, can still before- keep using your same uh your same stealth rolls Oh, before yeah. you do, before you do, would you like me to do protection from evil and good? Because it, it's for one person. I touch them, and they're protected against aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. And and you you uh, you can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. Yeah. Okay. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay. That's that's what I was thinking. Whoever goes in first should probably have that because this is giving me really serious like zombie vibes. Uh, I can just walk over to it and then go over here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, where's the door? Oh, I see the door. It's on this side. Okay. Uh, let me go to this window and look inside the window. What do I see? Okay. Well, um, yeah, make a perception check. All right. Perception check it is. Uh, let's see. Okay, come on. Yes. Okay, I got seventeen plus five, twenty-two. Okay. Um, the it's uh it looks like it does on the map here. I mean, it's all it's all messed up. Um, Just like are not, furniture are not on the over. floor. Yeah, the okay. the table seems to be missing. Um, it looks wow. like uh, it looks like it's not in use. Okay, I go towards the door and I open the door and I okay. go inside. Okay, and at this point, um, whoever else is in the f- whoever yeah. else is in the front, you know, and not indoors, Jonathan flies down and lands on your shoulder. I don't nice. know who that would be. Is that Ralph? Me? Yeah, you're here? you're kind of the next one, I guess. <sighs> yeah, I'm up here. What? No, yeah, I'm sitting right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Jonathan lands on your shoulder, and he says, "There's a." 
there's what looks like a Volkswagen bus driving towards the city. That's they're gonna not good. get they're gonna get here in about ten minutes. Holy uh, crap. Okay. Do I hear that? Or is no. it just a okay? He just no, tells you, brow. Don't, you don't hear that. You're in inside the building here. Uh we need to get this uh Okay. I'm inside the room. Uh can I search the room to see if there's any 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 anything hidden in here? Any people? Any stuff that would explain what happened? Uh, yeah, make make a uh, make an investigation check. All right, another one. Are you not trying to be stealthy anymore? Um, I guess yeah, I guess so. Do I need to do a stealth check? Uh, yeah, with disadvantage because you're also doing something else. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody hiding inside the room. So I'm going to continue to, like, you know, stay okay. in the shadows, look, and, you know, try to see what's going on. And if there's okay. any drawers or any evidence of okay. fight on the floor. Uh, I think I got a one for investigation check. Okay. So now stealth twice and take the lower one. Yeah. This one's a nine. This okay. one's a five. I guess I take five okay. stealth. All right. So, um... As you're kind of uh, moving stuff around, you accidentally knocked over one of the chairs. And uh, a couple of righteous uh, pop up out of the floor and start okay. heading towards you. All right. I got mage armor. I pull up my sword. All right. And it is uh, 12 o'clock, so I think we will stop here and we'll pick up the next time. All right. All right. Cool. So, dun, yeah. Dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like this is empty except for the occupying forces of evil. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. And I just right. walked Aren't right you into glad it. I did that protection from evil? I am. <laughs> and on top of that, we have, uh, we have what Muset did. So, all our hit points are going to be plus five next time. Yeah. Yep. I think and, every player did a great job today because you guys saved our asses or you got a good shot into or the enemy or you healed us or you did a, a whole bunch of stuff. Came up with all sorts of ideas like Zoe telling me if I wanted to get protected. So that that's really good. I've seen too many yeah. zombie movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's too quiet. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> All right, so I guess uh, we're in a cliffhanger. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you have subscribed. You can find the Clive Barker podcast wherever you find audio. Show notes for this episode, as well as news and reviews, can be found at our website at www.clivebarkercast.com. The Clive Barker podcast, or BarkerCast, is an independent editorial podcast and blog that is not affiliated with or under contract by Clive Barker or Seraphim Inc., this is a labor of love by the fans for the fans. Watch for our annual Kickstarter fundraisers to get some cool stuff, and you can buy t-shirts on our Tee Public store. Go to tpublic.com and search for BarkerCast. Thanks for listening.